the internet. Oh, that looks live. Chat, am I live? Acknowledge me. Acknowledge me. Is this thing on? There you are. There's me, first and least. There's some people. Hi, Godzilla S. Hi, Calzador One. Hi, everybody. Okay. Welcome to the post CP stream, which is this week coming a day late and a dollar short. Because I had some business to take care of yesterday. But I've got a special surprise for you this week. Because. I know after I left Australia, everyone's been terribly missing my old co-commentary partner, Gabriel. How tragic it was that he died in that terrible cattle molesting accident. But for this occasion, I've gone through all our old videos and I've put together a special program that will procedurally generate Gabriel style comments when I press this button. So let's see how it works. Uh, Hello, Gabriel Tron 3000. Hello, Yahtzee. You're quite good at turning me on. Well, I call that a successful test. Can Excellent. I, can I turn up my voice? Has my voice gone? Says Dr. G Spot 47. G Spot. <laughs> oh, Christy, we've driven them insane now. What do these people do now that their dreams have come true? Like that must be that's a that's a grim hell to visit, I think. I don't know. I guess they um, go and live live better lives. Go and live in a monastery somewhere. Yeah, that's a good point, actually. We need some like other unaffiliated monasteries. Like, I'd go live in a monastery, but I don't want to have to join a religion. You want to go one of them <clears throat> Shaolin monasteries where you just learn how to kick the shit out of things? Um, oh, that'd be fun, yeah. But I don't want to shave my head. I'm not really, like, I'm not, as much as I find a lot of Buddhism fun, I don't want to have to, like, fucking chant, do sutras or whatever the shit. Well, who does? Yeah, I uh, I feel like that's probably the less fun part of it. Well, I'm impressed that uh, the Gabriel Tron 3000 seems to be working out very well, so let's get started. Well, with I mean, it's, it's, it's obviously a joke. Clearly this is, in fact, uh, Kess. I'd like to announce that my transition is complete. Um, I am now a male, and Yahtzee is 100% gay balls. Oh, you scamp. That's not true at all. <laughs> it's 100%. No. It's, I love is beautiful, do not question it. All right, let's come clean. Gabriel happens to be in town for unspecific reasons, and he's very kindly agreed to join me for my usual post-CP stream. Yeah. How was the trip over, by the way? Um, I don't fit on planes, which is fine for, like, domestic, because I'm, I'm not what you'd call an absolute unit, but I'm kind of, I'm about hectic unit. Hey, thanks for the 150 bits, Lunar Archon. Um, so, you know, I can cope for short bursts, but 12 hours where I'm expected to eat, because I just, I take up a seat and a half. Um, and <laughs> yeah, that's economy class for you. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's, it's brutal. So I have to like tuck my I, I, so like my, my elbows even tucked into my sides is just not close enough. So I have to have them kind of in front of me. Um, Bear with me a sec. I just need to tweet out the link to this week's video because nobody okay. else is. Did you keep talking by all means. Oh, okay. Well, I don't know. I thought you were doing something. Um, yeah. So I've got to like have my elbows like sort of in front of my sternum in order and like then sort of fold my hands over so kind of full t-rex just to kind of go and cut my little meals with a little plastic knife and yeah, stuff yeah i have to do that i have and very long arms sleep's fucking impossible like it's just moving from one awful uncomfortable nightmare position to another piece of torture so i kind of i don't know i think i blacked out a couple of times but that was about it and then I landed in what like and the thing about like California weather is it's a lot like Australia or a, a lot like Brisbane but not as humid it's actually quite nice at the moment the weather's very pleasant for someone from yeah it, in the few years I've been here 
but we haven't damn. had anything damn. like a Brisbane summer. Oh, Lord. And Brisbane summers this, go for like eight months. That's where the sky is trying to kill you. Oh, it fucking yeah. sucks. It's the humidity. Like, that's... It's like this. It's like living in an armpit. It's this warm, all-encompassing, perpetual, grim hug. Yeah, it's more of a dry heat here. Yeah. Very unusual to rain during the summer. Thanks for subscribing, Pyro Fighter Two Five Eight, who says, "Oh boy, what well, can't wait to hear the four one one on this game," which is a good point. We haven't talked about it yet. So you've played this, haven't you? Um, yeah, a little. Probably, I don't know, maybe about the first quarter, give or take. Uh, you know, I wouldn't. It. I mean, just on first pass. One of the things that really sort of bugs me is that it feels like the game moves like a game from sort of 1999. You know, like the character feels like you're moving the world around them as opposed to their a physical entity within this space. Which well, it is a mid-range game. Yeah, Not so much but a still. AAA, more like a, a one and a, a half A. Maybe. Yeah, a, a, and a, a plus. It's by Don't Nod. Don't Nod Entertainment, who also made Life is Strange and Remember Me back in the day. And we're a vampire who'd just woken up in a big pile of corpses. <laughs> and looking at us, me of the drinking days. Looking at us, we really should have become a vampire sooner. Yeah, like this is one of those look like one things where being a vampire doesn't look like it sucks as much as I feel like it should. Being labelled a curse and all that, you know. Well, it kind of sucks. I mean, you have to cry blood. Yeah, that, that's a vampire thing, I guess. Is it? Yeah, you, yeah. you have to cry blood if you're a vampire in this, in this particular interpretation. That's interesting. Of vampire. I feel physics. like this is like the way it's spelled with the Y. The whole game just screams like, you know, oh, this is this is serious vampires, vampire. You can't really do serious vampires, but if you can, it's been done a long time ago by Bram Stoker for I'm one. Say, this is, yeah, the earliest runs were serious vampires. My dad called him Bum Smoker once, and that fucking killed me. Granted, I was 11, but it still makes me chuckle. So since we're a vampire and everything, we... Oh, that looks tasty. See, we can only see blood. Everything else is a blur. We just want the blood. Well, you know, there's blood. You know, a petticoat keeps the blood fresh. Locks in the taste. Excuse me, miss. <laughs> uh, that wasn't exactly what I was after, miss. Can I just walk in front of you? Does that work? Probably not. No. I mean, I'd like to think there's a barrier to you fucking up this really important scene. Hello. Hello, blood. <laughs> I want to suck your face. Oh, this blood seems to know us. Well, that makes it easier. <laughs> I'm the blood's friend. Jumbly Wobbly asks, Gabe, what do you think about the US adopting Australian immigration policy? Um, yeah, well, I mean, that's the funny thing about all this is, like, Australia, for once, has been the remarkable leader in uh, this process. They've led the world in the illegal immigrant death camps. Yeah, which is, 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 is really weird, because Australia is a remora. Like, it was attached to the UK for a while, and then the UK traded us to the US you know, um, during World War II. And I'm not sure what for exactly, but... Uh, since then, we've been sort of attached to the neck of the U.S., a little bit like Chester and Spike, you know. And um, that usually that usually leaves us as a country, this pisswit little child following along behind. But in terms of xenophobic cruelty, Australia will kneel only to a few. Oh, that was our sister all along. Uh, what a goof. What a comedy of errors. Hold on. Please, hold on. Oh, uh, you know. Sibling pranks. Oh, damn, I got my mind back just to, just a bit too late there. So, yeah. Australia came up with this really nifty, more expensive and cumbersome way of dealing with um, asylum seekers. Which, again, is what they are. That's it's a, a Seeking asylum is a legal process. Yeah, they would like to live somewhere where they won't die. Yeah, people, you know, avoiding machete rape, I think, is a... Is you know, a, a fair thing to flee. Uh, they just Until need to pull themselves up by their bootstraps. <coughs> yeah, because they're not deemed to be, you know, economic migrants or anything until they're processed. The processing, um, you know, again, it's, 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 it's a legal thing. But rather than deal with that and see, you know, the horrible specter of brown people, uh, we decided to create these sort of little uh, camps on a little no. shithole island Please. made mostly out of bird droppings called like. Nauru, which... Let me explain biting this lady's throat out. It's a, you'll laugh when you hear the explanation. It's so obvious, really. <laughs> I think I've been on a bit of a and bender. Basically, that's why I deserve to kill innocent young women. No, 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 no. You see, like, you just... 
Bye, everyone. It feels like an old game, and in a lot of ways. Does every third-person game have to have the bloody Resident Evil 4 camera now? Pretty much, yeah. That's that, that was the lore after Resident Evil. I never Evil. thought I'd see the day that God of War had a Resident Evil 4 clinging to the butt, butt cheeks camera. I feel like it was a teensy bit too close at times. Please. Well, they, they knew that. That's why they had to put arrows next to your ass so you knew when someone was sneaking up on you. It was not an elegant solution. Oh, no, I, I, I said that very thing in my review. Surely the more elegant solution would have been to draw the camera back a bit. At least just for combat. Like, I can understand and having him up a button. I don't know, generally, but I mean, if you're fighting more than one fellow, you should... Could... Is he really him. capable of doing a melee attack that doesn't thrust him forward six feet? I don't think it so, no. It appears not. Well, that's part of, like, vampire machete style. It's like, you know, the old Jack Johnson boxing. You know, you got to fall with the machete hit. You stay back. <clears throat> it is kind of funny him saying stay back since, like, you know, you don't say that to a rat. The way Reed says that, you left me no choice. Yeah. Makes you think that might be part of the moral choice thing, but... It isn't. No, you can kill as many vampire hunters as you want. There is a moral choice about whether you kill named characters. But if you have no name, game. you do I not suppose, matter. I suppose uh, self-defense makes it fair game. Oh well, yeah, I mean, you know. You're not gonna kill them. Not even drinking from that guy. I always drink my, my, my victims. That was the first thing I put a bunch of points into, was sipping... Having a nice top up. See, I didn't drink anyone in the whole game because I felt didn't feel like I needed to at any point to succeed. Oh, I mean, like not the official drinkings, you know. I mean the the, the attack beverage. Oh yeah, yeah, the attack beverage. Yeah, but that's fine. Do that as much as you like. Yeah, they don't count. Because I suspected, like, the best ending was for not killing people, as it would be, and I was right. Yeah. And I always try to give it the best ending because otherwise it doesn't feel like you've finished, you know? Well, that's because usually they hide more stuff behind the, you know, that's yeah. what always makes the choice thing in quotes choice, you know? It never feels like I'm making an actual choice, it just feels like I'm, you know... Yeah, I just want to see what happens. Yeah, it's the Undertale to. thing. We do it not because we want to, but just to see what happens. Mm. I mean you no harm. I, I need help. Die, you fucking leech! <laughs> Oh, I don't think we're going to get along with this guy. Oh, champ, you didn't go to training, did you? Shut up, beast! Who are you? What is Why is he just like a French about? policeman? Bernies! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's the Australian just, sound just for you. But this is London. We should be overcast uh, to shit. Uh, uh, uh. Right, well, failed to make a friend there. Sounds like it's burning me to the bone. No, it's not, Gabe. When does this take place, Don Cohen? I think it's just after the First World War, during high. the time of the Spanish flu, which, like, killed everyone. Let I do feel go. like there's a little bit of a fictionalization of this historical it's locked, all right. element beyond merely the vampires, but, uh, yeah, I got, like, a post-World War One vibe. Industrial um, enough to have all the gross, sad parts of industrialization, but none of the, like, nice, pleasant bits yet. Yeah, to it's find machine shelter. for pigs, London. All the vampire hideouts in this game say keep out. It's reverse psychology, you see. <laughs> it, that's, that's vampire cleverness. Mm. Is anybody there? That, I, I believe they call that the glamour. That's how they hide from society. Mm. Behind every derelict house is what look like a bunch of feral junkies, but they are in fact vampires. Nemesis 8811 asks, Gabe, did you miss Yahtzee? You know um, we only hung out once a week. Yeah. I should be safe enough. No, see, a lot of my friends live, like, either out of Brisbane or internationally, and, you know, I can keep up with them thanks to the miracle of social media. Yeah. And um, I'm a the very asocial person to begin with, so... Well, yeah, me too, exactly. Yeah. No, he's not... He doesn't have a cold dog piece before he's having, he's jet-lagged. A little bit, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm coming good now that I've had some food and some coffee. Um, yes, I showed him some American breakfasts. Yeah. Mary. I've got so much physical currency on me at the moment, it's... So unusual. Oh, but the banks are so globalized these days. Visa, yeah, well, Visa card will go a long way. Yeah, that's the thing is I can actually use just my, like, I, I, I got money transferred into 250 America bucks um, just to have walking around money because I didn't know what the situation would be like because back home I just used my fucking pay pass. 
But here, everything looks like it's pretty well hooked up to that, so... I think there's like a 3% charge, but that's not very much, really. You know, I mean... Hmm. There's a dead person, and it wasn't us this time. Oh, God damn. That's ugly as fuck. Oh, cool, I could get a cheap gun. Yeah, Yard said I was going to be here for, like, 4th of July, and I was like, oh, I want to buy explosives, but I'm not allowed to buy explosives. Yeah, no, um, John Blair, I'm on holiday, so I've decided to um, just not worry too much about I'm going to eat fatty, weird garbage. Yeah, I bought I bought cheese in a fucking can. Oh, I'm excited, excited to yeah, try that. Yeah, he was very thrilled to try that. I know if Kes finds it in the house, he'll, he'll chuck it out and you behind it. No, I'll just, it's, I, I, I bet she'll be okay with me having it, because I'm, like, experiencing the novelty of, you know, America. I haven't tried I, it myself, but I gotta I have my, tend to. I've got to have my weird business. Katie Dem94 asks, isn't it part of the law that vampires can't enter a private property without the owner's permission? Well, I guess no one's living here. That's why I said keep out on the door. Yeah. I don't know. I, Because I, th that didn't come up in anything that I played through on this. Did it come up in yours? Because you finished it. I don't think so. I remember... Because that's one of the softer parts of the law that seems to have been abandoned after the Lost Boys. I remember having to knock on a few doors and wait for people to let me in, but there were plenty of other houses I could just walk straight into. Hi. Yeah. I mean, that's... What's the roots of that particular part? Of the not allowed to be in unless someone says you can come in? Uh, I don't know. I guess it's just uh, a folkloric thing to get kids to not let all and sundry into the house. Yeah, fair enough. <laughs> Stop inviting in. A weird kid from up the street. Of this, a lot of folklore creatures, the facts we know about them are rooted in like children's lessons and things. Mm. I mean, the whole staying to the heart thing is based on how undertakers used to nail corpses into coffins through the chest so they wouldn't slide around. <laughs> <laughs> I do like how they change internationally. Like the Chinese vampires can hear breath. That's one of the ways yeah, they like, the, track the Zhang Ka? Is that what they're called? I think so, yeah. The hopping ones, because yeah, they tie the their feet together so they don't scoot around. The ones that hop and you have to hold your breath or they will come Who's and kill there? you. Are you referring to me? And yes, we have a reflection. Targus Marupia. So I guess some of the social elements of... No. This is more of a science-y vampire. No. Yes, we are... That's the whole uh, dilemma so of the character. He's a doctor and a vampire. Mm. So he has to heal people, but he also has to kill them. And he's a supernatural being so who wants to follow the scientific method all the time. I mean, I do like that. I mean, it's a, yeah, at the core, it's a good idea. As I say, there's not really any dilemma at all. I guess that guy died of an overdose or something. Well, you know. Oh, no, he shot himself. <laughs> well, it's, it's a kind of overdose. Maybe you, like, combine the two. That's what Elliot Roger was going to do. <laughs> Said in his manifesto, he's going to take all his Xanax, then shoot himself in the head. Ugh. Xanax. The fuck would you want to go out on Xanax? You'd at least aim for some, like, get the oxy. You know, you want to get that sweet, delicious Oprah heroin. So we were like a, a battlefield doctor. That would have been fucked. Old Johnny Reed, especially the in the coming. First World War. Yeah. Do we have antibiotics yet? Nope. Well, we got some whiskey. Yeah. Want to drink some whiskey? Bite down on this. That was why great granddad came back from the war, morphium addict, but then he just got really into rum. What you just chance says, would you have preferred the game if the only way to get experience was to kill people by biting them? You know, what I kind of think the game should have done was just uh, force no, you to pick someone at some point, one happen. way or another. So you have to eat someone, just pick someone. I really you had thought to, you had to really think about the decision based on what you know about them all and who's redeemable and who isn't. An ugly choice, but a forced choice. Yeah. Yeah. But as it is, because I the, drank the first dude just because he looked like a bit of a cunt. If the game says if you're good enough, you won't have to kill anyone, then obviously I'm not going to want to kill anyone because yeah, it'll feel it like I've failed. Yeah. yeah. Dracula was a scientist. He had an no, alchemy lab in Castlevania Symphony of the Night. Hmm. I've been wanting to play some through some. I, I downloaded the DS ones. I have them on my tablet. The DS the ones touchy. would have been. Because uh, I played. Order of Ecclesia. Yeah. And Dawn of Sorrow. And Portrait of Ruin. Yeah, because I played Symphony of the Night again. I really like. Ago. 
I really Sorry. like Aria of Sorrow on Which GBA. GBA. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. I think, uh, was that the first or the second one? That was the first. Yeah, the first so GBA one. Not the, the first GBA one, it was the first Soma Cruise one of two. Uh, I think the first ones on GBA was. Uh, I can never remember which one's which. There was Harmony of Dissonance, mm. Circle of the Moon. Vibration of Noggin. Oh, sorry. Clearly, this game requires my input. It's not Gabe, it's the GameTron 3000, I keep saying. I made it with programming. Yeah. Most humans are just an algorithm. Bombard. It screws up the algorithm if you bring up something he doesn't, like Gabriel never mentioned in any previous video. Like, uh, Gabriel, what's your opinion on Senegalese politics? Shoelaces. You see? Targus Moropia <laughs> says this game's suicide minigame is way easier than consuming shadows. Which I'm mentioning for the plug. Which, wasn't that a not commit suicide minigame, though? Oh, well, quite. Because you weren't a vampire in fucking consuming shadow. Get your law right! Thanks for the 100 bits, Eagle Beady Uncertain. Hey, remember, if you want to give me something, I have a PayPal me thing. Eagle Beady asks, can I get a shout out from me, RJ, and everyone still on the subreddit? What are you, what are you still doing on the subreddit, you credit, you losers? That is, yeah, I didn't know that that was still going. Yeah. Like, Yahtzee told me that today, and I was like, huh, yeah, this what do you guys do? This isn't going back, you know. Gabe's only here for, like, this <laughs> week. Unless, this is going to go straight back to... Unless you all... Front, yeah, Harlan Ellison's dead. I found that out a few minutes ago before we started the stream, and I was, I was like, ah. Yeah, that was a shame. Oh, well, there we all go. You know, ain't no use being sad. All right, well, I guess we're going to get autophagy now. Phagy. Is that how you pronounce it? Autophagy? Uh, I think it's autophagy. Yeah, I've heard both. I don't, you know. Wouldn't autophagy run the Marvel Universe? You know, I got through my first place of the game. I got through the whole thing without using Blood Spear at all. Like I never even unlocked it. So I'm going to see what it's like. Yeah, I didn't get that one either. Hell no, I'm not emigrating here. I got a hip surgery the other day, and it only cost me like <laughs> yeah. four thousand dollars. And that was because I was impatient and didn't want to wait for the public, which would have last take, took like taken like a year. Also, you're not gonna marry anyone in america oh no don't get me wrong if i if if in this one week i managed to meet like an attractive like fucking mixed race girl i will absolutely fucking bail but i figure i could offer her uh some slightly more lucrative australian citizenship and the various protections and fun that comes from that forky one says the subreddit's usual business is what was the episode where they talked about x yeah what? all right well there you go i guess it's very important that they brush up on our opinions on things. The one I guess there'll be an exam. <laughs> I must find what do you get if you pass? What I have become. Uh, you get our undying content. Mm. That's an interesting approach to reflections. Usually in video games they just don't show reflections at all because it means rendering everything twice. But there's just a sort of like loose environment mapping and a sort of weird shape representing the character. I think that's a good halfway, you know, especially because yeah. the mirror's fucked up and you're a vampire. So it's, it's an easy way of... Because I understand, yeah, let's not have to render the whole thing twice. But also, just having a mirror that does nothing, I always think is a little bit of a cop-out. Right, where are we I guess we're going to North Bank. Oh, they're trying to get in. Uh, I'll just cleverly sneak out this a slightly ajar door they didn't notice. <laughs> Inevitable Doom says, I'd like to hear them discuss their game of the year, round one fight. $1,200 for a fucking the mumps. Good god. I'd pay zero. That's weird. This is something I forgot to mention in a review. It's the, like, fast move around ability is kind of contextual. Yeah, and which I really understand. annoying trying to find the place where it lets you do it. Yeah. You know, if they'd let you do that to, like, any service, it might have been kind of fun in an infamous -y kind of way. Um, E3-wise... Part of me hopes that Spider-Man will be good. I'm naturally looking forward to, uh, you know, my lesbian zombie apocalypse yeah. game. It literally is. Lesbians and zombies. That's The Last of Us 2. That was what the whole gist of the video they showed at E3. Yeah. Here's the zombies. I mean... And here's the lesbians. I hope Joel's beard makes an appearance just to masculine it up a little bit. But the great thing about lesbians is they like women, but with, like, more masculinity, which I respect. Okay. You know, because, like... You're women, but you like women. It's like, yeah, okay, I get that. Insane. 
Okay, I have to use the stake to inflict stun damage on you. Yeah, stab him! Now eat can, his face. Now he can eat his face. The so, best meat's in the chin. It's. I don't know why we can drink these guys without killing them. And we yeah. can't do that to anyone else. I mean, like, for something that sort of ties so much of its world and concept into this, you know, the narrative element of draining people. Oh, that's not bad, then actually. adding a game mechanic that lets you do it without the fucking moral quandary is a bit of a fuck up for my mind. Oh, out of stamina. Be back in a second. Alright, round two. Yeah, my muscles are good these days. I've been only allowed to do like physio based stuff. Because I had hip surgery because my it, all the grumbling that I was doing about my back and stuff, it turned out was. Shouldn't have skipped so many leg days. Yeah, oh, it, 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 was, it was an issue. Probably possibly too much leg day. So, but, um. You know, they fixed me up. I had a torn labrum. And you can find the pictures, I put them on Twitter. I had a torn labrum and I had a, a massive growth on my fucking uh, bone growth, not a cancer eel or anything growth, um, on my, uh, the ball that goes into the socket. Mmm, tasty, cockney man. <laughs> I figure they'd have very vigorous blood. That's the one thing about the poor, is they have a... And it tastes like jelly deals. Yes, they, they have a natural, aggressive vigor to them, which uh, enlivens the humors. In Livens. Is it in Livens? Yes. I've heard and, it said uh, in Livens. And incidentally, the place where we are is pronounced Southwark. 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 Not Southwark. Suffolk. Suffolk's a different place. Okay, well, I don't know your fucking weird little goddamn poxy island shit. It's not poxy. It once ruled the world in uh, racism. Well, it learned from Rome, you know. I mean, how many times has England been invaded? Mine. Uh, once in 1066 by the Normans. If only I had well, you know, before that, the Romans and the fucking. Oh, that was the only successful invasion. Angles and the Saxons, they invaded and took over and didn't go away. I guess that's why we're not so uh, big on maintaining the the true peoples of some countries. Did you just eat a rat? Yeah, because uh, yeah. the British people grew up from a bunch of different tribes that grew large enough to join up. Yeah. I have. Cynicism. Uh, we did the racism blood. thing, we're kind of over the racism thing. You're welcome to the racism thing. Yeah. It's locked. Locked. Oh, if only my vampire. I can turn into a gas, and it's like, alright, I can't get through that. Farting door. doesn't count as turning into a gas. Yeah, you have to turn your whole body into a, the gas. I can turn, turn the meal I had recently into a gas. It's almost close. Whee! The dizziness from the jump. I can now control it. Oh, it wasn't England when the Romans invaded. Jesus fucking Christ. It was a lot of things when the Romans invaded. Yeah. No, I know. It's like saying, because it's like saying Australia wasn't really Australia when, like, the British showed up, because it was actually 200 distinct indigenous, um, localized, you know, sort of localities, but it's also kind of missing the point of what was being said. Oryx King of Topology says, You're sucking the blood of the proletariat. They must seize the means of blood production. What would that be? Maybe, uh, like, these days you could bioengineer, like, you know, like how they're making meat in labs. Yeah, and they're making, like, I've growing so organs in dishes. Yeah. I'd eat lab meat. I'd be okay with that. I think it'd be a lot easier. I'd if, want if it to be thoroughly vetted by the Health Standards Authority. Although, it's, you know, it's probably, like... You're worried about growing extra meat on you? It's probably a lot healthier than, a, like, the way they make meat now. That's the thing, like, you know, you get the sketchy cheap shit and they, you know, they just shoot that stuff full of antibiotics and then... Christ, Jonathan reads a twat. Have the very streets of London become a mausoleum? <laughs> Good he, heavens. He's got one of them, their fancy university educations. Him and his books. So, the decadent six says, synthetic blood, being a vampire would be easy today. Well, that raises the question of what it is in the, the blood they need. Yeah, because I feel like... You could science that, you know. Like, maybe it could be like an IUD, like ladies get to not have babies. You know, you just get like a little implant and you go. You could be the uncertain says kind of over the racism thing. Yeah, you are aware what happened in June 2016, right? Well, yeah, but everyone in the government was kind of expecting that to not happen. I mean, in America, the, it's the government that's doing all the racism. Yeah, the Brexit thing was fucking Fresh hilarious. Racist so things happen in Britain, the government... The can't get in front of a camera fast enough to, like, distance themselves from it. There is no one in sight. Well, it's elected brown people and stuff. 
Isn't the like fucking one of the princesses now like black or some shit? Uh, she, the lady who married Prince Harry, yes. Yeah. Meghan Markle. Well, she's a princess, isn't she? Like, I know it's not like um, really succession or whatever, but she's technically a princess of some description. Yeah, I guess I th she's, she's probably a more going to be more commonly referred to as a duchess. Oh, okay. Pretty much all the royal family get duchies somewhere. Huh. Monarchies are weird to me. Keep out. That means come in. Yeah. It's like opposite logic for vampires. Because uh, we sleep during the day and work during the night. What are we doing in the crafting menu? I do not know. Um, I don't think weapons? you can craft anything yet. Can you? No, uh, because you need bits. Because like, yeah. you don't get bits until a little bit later and they go, Ooh, or maybe I could make a thing. And you're like, yeah, oh, Every game bad. must have crafting now, mustn't it? Yeah. I mean, I feel like it's just a... The lazy way. Do you have to look at that blood or some shit? Forgotten what the button is now. There it is. There you are. Well, I mean, there was a question mark above the blood pile. I mean, you probably don't need oh, it. Oh, hey, it's right uh, the bloke from It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia. Oh, yeah, Fat Mac. That is him let's when he was fat, to, too. Let's talk to Fat Mac. At last, fat Mac. A life. There it is. Hi, yeah, I've just burst in here bedraggled and covered in blood. <laughs> I'm guessing in like the period this wasn't that unusual. Like you can tell me that, and I'd believe I you. I just, I just got seized by some lower class types. Mm. Help. Good evening, sir. <laughs> I wondered if I could ask for your help. Wow, you look like you need a drink. Yes. I apologize for my outfit. And now I get to the bloody it's dialogue been, trees. It's been a long night. Yeah, I've these weren't as seen that. fun as Don't worry, I was <sighs> kind of hoping. Worse. And he literally says, tell me more about X and Y all the time. Yeah, nothing, Has sort of. Entered the bar recently? You know, because I was looking oh, forward sorry. to, like, a good conversation sorry. tree game, you know? I spend the night well, I can have a chat. Like I can use my brain to you can do. You can do dialogue trees well. I seem to remember The Witcher 3 did sure good dialogue no trees. But I hate dialogue trees where it's just run months. down the list of topics. Know, yeah. Yeah. Tell me more about this. this tell me more about that. Tell me more about that. There's no personality to his things. It's just, yeah, perfunctory. There's no flavor. There's no fluff. You must be new here. Have you not heard about the murders? Everybody oh fears got to me sparrow. To <laughs> Tell me more about your sweating gonads. Who is this? Well, you know. It's a local bogeyman. Mine are external, so they tend. And they need they, they, they need uh, some quite strict temperature someone. regulation, apparently. That's why they raise, they lower, they sweat. Really? Yeah. Yeah, I've illegally immigrated into your country will from the south. You're going to be put in the camps, my friend. Yeah, I'm going to be put in the camps. Oh, wait. No, you won't. You're not brown. Yeah, I could probably get away with that, actually. Yeah, just, you know. I'm from Australia. I'm not even meant to be here. Lock me up with the Guatemalan children. Oh, fly. That was a sudden turnaround. Uh, talk to me, nondescript mixed race woman. Hello, sir. Are you all right? Yeah, I've been smuggling to this country. I, I am. I, I so am I? Uh, all right, Twitch Maybe chat. Am I able? I'm in California. I'm in Maybe San Francisco. Am I able to get like fireworks on July Fourth? Do they have a rule about that? Or, cause I want to blow shit up. But America. What's going on around here? It's me. Where is everyone? Too many dead, sir. No, I didn't have my old time sick buggering. Um, well, you only had to ask. Yeah, well, you know, it's 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 considered bad form to engage in in full male sodomy before the night before a wedding. Drained of blood. It's just horrible. Sapper one two three asks Yatsi, how have you managed to keep your accent without being around other Englishmen for so long? It's mainly watching YouTube videos these days. Well, I there's mean, a lot of people with British and non-American accents doing long. Style review videos online these days. That and once you pass the age of 21, your accents. I suspect I'm partly to blame for the trend yes. of so many last people summer. with British accents. Doing <laughs> yes, you are videos. partly to blame for the trend of people with British accents. Doing well, I remember reading a cracked article once so where uh, it was subject of weird sudden genres, genres that yeah. have popped up on YouTube, and one of them was. A topic being dis explained by a fast-talking British person. No, it's because a lot of it's because most of the internet doesn't know the difference between a British accent and an education. I'm, so not, even, I'm not even I'll listening to what it. this bitch is Thank saying. You. Uh, who who even cares? She's a woman, and oh, it's like the 1920s. Why would I? I wouldn't want to hear what it has to say. 
He's just going to tell me what the scullery is doing, and I'm not even interested. Hey, thanks for subscribing, that Sai guy. Oh, I've got fucking Krasens. These, these things are the shit. Yeah, I introduced him to Krasens yesterday, and he can't get enough. Oh, well, I think we had a hilarious animation for a second there. Let's see Ooh. if we can rec recreate it. Oh, Krasens. They're like fucking Sultanas, but they're just dynamic. Yeah, you know? they're, they're a bit tangy. Mmm. Because I can eat a fistful of Sultanas. All right, let's talk to the barman. But like these, like these defy too much. You know, I can't have like shitloads of them, otherwise my face will like collapse in on itself. I'm not this bloke looks not like John Richardson. Well, I'm only here rest. for a week. I'm not staying in this demented, night. you know, nut bar country. Yeah. This place scares the shit out of me in a lot of, for a lot of reasons. Yeah, I mean, probably not California. This is probably the closest to Australia I'd, I'd have. Yeah, see, it's, it's pretty yeah, safe around here. Just yeah. don't like walk around the regions of Oakland where all the ten cities are set up. Uh, I, reckon I'd, I reckon I'd get by there just on being an Australian novelty. Novelty gets you by in a lot of in a lot of situations. Or I'd get mugged, you never know. What does he look like? Alex the Doggo gives ten bits and says Yazi is judging by the cover dead. Yes, it is. I kind of packed it in. I felt like I was repeating myself. I haven't touched a gun yet, which I'm a little bummed about. I've fired a, I went to an Australian gun range once. Yeah, I think it's probably easier to go to Australian gun ranges because they all lock them up there. Like you don't yeah. have to, you know, they. And I think we just have a smaller population of loons who compensate with guns. I remember I went to a climbing gym in Reno fairly recently, and in the like little like retail park surrounding it, there was. There was a gun shop, there was uh, a Harley Davidson shop, there was like a men's fitness places, and I was like, I'm noticing a sort of pattern emerging in this area. <laughs> Welcome to Testicle Acres. On my way here, like when I was, because I was in the car, the first thing I saw when I got off the plane and was in the line at the immigration thing was just vomit on the ground. And that actually made me feel quite at home, because I come from probably the vomit capital of Brisbane. And then when we were in the car, like in the fucking two hour goddamn traffic filled drive back here, there was this fucking four wheel drive UT thing with like this picture on the side because it was for someone's business. Yeah, I, dro I drove you home after you got back in from your flight and we saw some of the idiosyncratic American driving. Oh, holy fuck, yeah, because I have not seen this much aggressive driving in years yeah. and so much of it at once. Like, people, it's, it's rough. Like, you know, you make jokes about Australia being like fucking Thunderdome. I say, nah, man, like America. Yeah, you don't drive there. How do you know? I've been in cars. Like, good lord. Yes. Uh, I had to learn to drive since I came to this country. Yeah. I just, uh, basically, I wanted to pick you up at the airport just to impress something you. I can do for you. By the fact that I drive now. Like, what is it? What part of the cross works? Do they ever science that out? I wonder that. I wonder. There's, I've read like comic books. I think it was a comic book where it wasn't so much the cross as the fate of the person holding it. That was in the Doctor so Who someone, episode. So like this, this crazy homeless person was like holding up a VW symbol, but it still worked because he had faith. Faith. In it. <laughs> yeah, that was in a. That was in the Curse of Fenric. It created a psychic shield, which I'm guessing is the go-to for. I won't tell. Mm -hmm. Tell me. Who are you? Um, the new Death Grips album's good. I mean, again, it's Death Grips. So, at first you're a little confused, and you're kind of wondering which bits are the songs and which bits are the bits between the songs, but then you get used to it, and it's fun. And there was an Eddie Izzard routine where he asked, is putting your fingers together to make a cross, will that do? It seems like that would be pretty easy to get rid of a vampire. Yeah. In fact, killing them. I wonder if I just had faith in myself. Wait, someone's or molesting people. We can't have that. <laughs> you know, what if I just had faith in my ability to not get bit by a vampire? I'm a victim. <laughs> Check your privilege. I've been hunted down in the streets and attacked. I'm a victim here too. I feel like they could have like framed these conversations a little better. Like you can move the camera around, but you are not, a vampire, no, not, not right now. You can't. Oh. I think no. th in like the plot dialogues, you can't. Every now and again, in the middle of like a plot cutscene, they'll just slam on the brakes and they'll go go down the questions list. Yeah, look at the back of this dude's ear. I mean, he has really clean behind his ears. That's that's important. That's good to see. Yeah, his neck needs a bit of work. Yeah, like I'd want a shower. Well, let's then just quickly spin on, shall we? With the yellow option. <laughs> yeah, I also think like blatantly labeling the one that I follow the the you through. 
like Simon confidence is not even bothering with the shot reverse shot. Mm, exactly. I thought I was your aggressor. Wom, 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 wom. We are both chasing. Like I I'd say that's generally I noticed that with a lot of the kind of you know, open worldy games too. Like they'll have sort of almost interesting characters and quasi decent conversational cutscenes, but they'll just leave the camera kind of just you, should let you know like the standard one and it's like treat it no like you're, you're shooting a show and it'll engage no. me a little more you know yeah. a lot of the time like you just don't see the faces and these are my like sometimes they're like sub characters i noticed this in um whatever it was fucking watchdogs 2 a lot because they'd have these other characters but you'd never really get a look at them properly unless you fucking finagled the camera finagle eh yeah i'll demand answers i'll end him end him i'll Grr. end him Grr. I can only wish you good hunting, and pray we shall meet again. Hey, you're not there performing monkey. You know? Yeah, you should. You should go to my if PayPal me. Time to interrogate. Pay me one thousand dollars, and I'll hum the whole of the girl from Ipanema. Someone must know. Welcome back. Come on, you're the internet. You're a bunch of deranged lunatics with money and absolutely no sense of self-worth. Are you sure no one else came into your bar? Easily wielded hey, I told you, you were the only by dynamic opinion there. makers such as Yahtzee and myself. I think you're hiding something. I will I punch your soul. I hide many things from many people, sir. That's what my job's about. Um, I wouldn't mind wandering around Goodbye. the retrorific. I wouldn't mind wandering around. San Francisco proper. I want to look at that big fucking bridge and shit. The Golden Gate. Yeah. Yeah. We'll have a bit of a walk about. I do want to. I do want to do some stuff. touristy shit because this is a fun tourist town. Like there's stuff to look at. You know. Yeah, we could go and look at the sea lions on Pier Forty Nine. Ah, and sweet. Then go to look at Lombard Street. Yeah. The Twisty Street. The Twisty I'll Street. I got some photos of myself at the Twisty Street. That was one of the first things I did. Will they let you go down it in a barrel? No. Shit. Can I help you? I have if a few you drive down it, but uh, I don't recommend well, driving in the must. city at all, frankly. Yeah, I do want to take a cable car, too. Uh, the I queues for those are massive. Oh, really? He's not the man That's a bummer. Because the only other time I did something touristy was when I went to Japan, and that was two weeks after, like, the fucking their reactor split it. open. So there were no Tom tourists. And it was fucking marvellous. Because you could just wander anywhere and there were no lines and everybody loved that you were there. I can feel your fear. Place like San Francisco. Please tell Probably me what's less going on. crowded <clears throat> during the week. William Bishop. He came in here earlier tonight and he... Well, I mean, I doubt I'm going to get raped. Like, uh, uh, yeah, I think if it... I'm not a things, target for that. Of all the things that could happen. Bishop. Yeah. Like, you'd have to, there's a lot of planning involved. You'd have to specifically want to rape me. There'd be at least two trips to the chemist. It's never been violent. Until tonight. Why keep it a secret? Why not tell me about it? Oh, who cares, Jonathan Reed. Jonathan Reed is a very elongated man. He's got a very long face with a long beard, and he's very tall as well. Mm. A lot of verticality to him. It's like he got stretched in Photoshop. He's got very long ears. Thank you for your Look at I'm them. not into furries or BDSM. He looks like Gary Rhodes with a beard. Do I have to? Uh, yes, apparently I have to open the citizens menu now. So here's our citizens we can choose to drink if we feel like it. Yeah, I don't drink Ralph Bergner, no. Well, we can't drink this one because he's, he's arbitrary mesmer value three. <laughs> and we we are own, we're currently at arbitrary mesmer value one. We have to okay. be able to mesmerize people before we can drink this. We need we, we need more. See, we, we could drink this brain. guy. We could drink this guy for days, but he's currently ill. Yeah. I would appreciate anyway with lots of surrealism. A very modern haircut. There's Gary Rhodes, the vampire. It is. It's got a sort of. Although I think like the Shave problem is the modern inside. haircut is a retro haircut. That's why the hipsters all jumped onto it real hard. Fair enough. Yeah, he does look like a modern hipster. Yeah, which perfectly. is pretty much uh, what they want. Can I interrogate you again now? Yeah, I think you he has like an extra point or something. Tom, talk to me about the visit I'll from your old friend. The vampire mesmer yes, thing. Brain powers. The stream has been going for 42 minutes, apparently. Yeah. yeah. It's just been flying by. You could try his boat. It's up by the North Pier. Animes for Life says, Yazzie, do you prefer a timed meter for conversations that you're not left staring blankly till you reply? 
Not really. I don't like where it suddenly pressures you to make a decision if you're supposed to be thinking about it. How about just, like, pause time? I mean, that doesn't break immersion. Well, as long as it's clear that we're pausing time while we choose what to say. I think it has to be there not, all the not time. Not having everyone just sort of sh awkwardly shifting back and forth on their fi on their heels as they wait for you to talk. Hello. Just just freeze everything. Put like a red filter over the screen. Put the options up. Oh. I will get say, to the say something. Pick something to say now. 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 What's being done to me? Do you to have a clean city? shirt? Yeah, I could have asked him for a clean shirt. He was an innkeeper. Yeah. Right. Let's in, let's track the killer. Some kind of fucking laundry service would be good. I don't have the shitty flute warm. cover of Death Grips Guillotine, this although I do absolutely love, blood. um, what is it, Be beware, there's an Evangelion version of, um, sort of note. Oh, I can't remember, like, one of the Death Grips songs, which I actually fucking this love, because it's not just one layered over the other, it's actually been sort of interacted a little bit, like, beware a cruel Death Grips thesis or something. This corpse has been dried of its I unironically listen to that and like enjoy it. Previous. I don't really follow UFC too much, do Don Cohen. I watch some stuff occasionally. Bottles. I mean, I watched CM Punk should get his ass kicked because I wanted to see if he'd gotten any out. better, and he hasn't, which is astonishing. <laughs> Moving on. on the other side of the canal. I, must reach that I don't drink, I'm not doing a wine tasting of Sonoma. Yeah, You'll con you continue to be boring. I harbored a little hope yeah. you might have given up on that no drinky thing. <laughs> Do you drink? Last I checked, you were barely a drinker. Well, I've been cutting back lately because I want to be in my best physical shape. Yeah, that's a good point. For this coming. So you've been you've been on a bit of a, bit, a little bit of a tear, having a wee bit of a bender. Um, uh, the opposite. Silently of behind an enemy. Deep, 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 deep. Uh, the illogical sandwich. Soccer is a made-up sport for the weak and pathetic. Yeah, the rest of the world is just teasing America. We don't really all like it. I, well, I mean, the sport's fine. I think the leagues are fundamentally just gross mafias. And also, the amount of flopping in the game, I think, is just depressing. Oh, that spear's not bad, actually. Yeah, that fucks people up. I got the claw, the Wolverine claw, because yeah. I just... I couldn't say no to Berserker Barrage. Yeah, I got that, too. I got the little explodey thing, as well. Fear and Boys, lucky these uh, faceless mooks actually literally cover their faces. Yeah. I might have uh, regretted things for a second. Australian football, which one? Like Aussie rules or league or union? I like league. I think it's a good mix. It has like a stop-start element that allows for more strategy, but there's also a lot of flow to the game. Ow. And it's also a game where you get up and play with a broken eye socket because any, you know, even being slightly injured, you'll just get called a poof. Yeah, I just one shot at that guy. That was fucking rad. I mean, I can't be bothered playing this game again just because it's. Yeah, I should have. I should have gotten the spear. I yeah. Didn't realize. Oh well. Oh well. It's not like the game was that challenging. I just like used a two-handed mace and fucked everything up. And remembered to dodge because you can dodge a shitload for the amount of stamina you have. Well, that's that is a lot, and the stamina comes dodging. back quickly. Yeah. It's stamina management, but you can dodge that much with all the stamina you got. Because, like, Dark Souls, you'd get, like, two or three, and then you fucking have yeah, enough. So you can, you can dodge for days in this game. You can dodge everything they throw at you. And I fatty roll, because I'm a beef house and heavy armor. Oh, yeah, that blood trail thing. <laughs> <laughs> I guess it's over this way where the enemies are. Uh, kill... Aren't these streams being archived on YouTube? I thought you did something with YouTube before you signed the start of this. Was yeah, it just no. being co-streamed? Yeah, it's just being streamed on YouTube and the stream gets recorded and left unlisted. But everyone, but the comments were always full of shit. It's complaining that you weren't in them. <laughs> so I kind of quietly stopped remembering to list them. Ah, uh, suck shit. Well, yeah, maybe you can list this one and then just direct them all to it when they fucking complain. If you're that dedicated, you can, there's usually a way to find unlisted videos. Um, worst film I've watched in theaters this year. I don't know, I don't usually go to see a lot of movies in theaters beyond ones I'm, you know, nearly 90% sure I'm going to enjoy. 
I fucking did. I really didn't like fucking the shape of water. Really? Yeah, I find Greasy Del Butto just fucking generally wildly overrated in terms of what he actually accomplishes. I think he's so, so there's loads of promise, and he himself is such a fun, gregarious little nugget of film joy. But none of the movies he makes are really all that fucking good. How about we just not attack the fire executioner? <laughs> Weak. Attack him in the face. New hideout. I think there's always just like a spared dead dude in the hideouts. Well, in case we wake up wanting a snack. Yeah, ballistic gel torso fucking killed me. I just call him Gravy Del Boto. David Cage of movies is a good way of describing him, yeah. I mean, I just... I don't understand. Like, for, especially for a year, like fucking... Three billboards out, so, you know, it was such a good movie. Yeah, I could upgrade my machete. All right. Machete. I'm not even going to equip the gun because I don't know, I've my, got a blood spear. My current bench press maximum is still only 80 kilos because i got to be careful of my shoulder, but I don't know how much Yahtzee weighs. It's probably more than 80. Yeah, I'm about 200 pounds these days because I'm so tall. Yeah. I was you should, shorter, like, you I should hit the gym. You should, you should get some muscle on that frame, man. I occasionally remember to go rock climbing once a week. We've been letting that slide a bit lately because our boy was all right. So much to get done. Like weirdly, I think one of his better movies is the cockroaches, like Mimic. Oh, the one of the cockroaches are pretending to be people. Everyone keeps saying Hellboy so Two was good. I watched Hellboy Two. I thought it was dreadful. Yeah, I don't, I don't like Hellboy Two. First one's all right. He doesn't know how to like, and like, the, it's the same thing with um, the same issue with fucking. Uh, Pacific Rim, where like the the final confrontational fight in Pacific Rim is underwater, and it is fucking boring. Like, I don't know what fucking decision making process you'd go through. It's like, oh, where we have my giant robot and monster fight. Oh, I'm under the sea. Oh no, it's the Dread Lord William Bishop. <laughs> um, fighting games released this year. I don't know. I can't even think of any. The last one I played that was actually released this year was that. Fucking Blaz Blue Homo Mangasma tag game one, but I didn't enjoy that. I don't really care for the animes. Stuns them as well, double trouble. I mean, does it take a lot of like shit to use? Well, I can get it all back by suck sucking on it for a bit. Sweet. Um, Dragon Ball Fighter Z is. There's just not a lot of difference between the characters, and I don't like the playstyle. Like it's again, it's an anime fighter. It's hyper aggressive and built around like sort of you know memorizing ways of manifesting long block strings to pressure your opponent and i generally don't like games with assists i find them just really irritating yeah like pacific room's big monster fight in the city is great like that's a great fucking fight that's a fantastic fucking endpoint that in the general plot was sort of dumb like it should you know le leaping straight for like where the monsters actually come from is sort of more sequel territory Killed the man. What was that other one? Like the the, the horror movie he did. Like it was it was boring. Games with cysts. Okay. Are you in there? We knew him well. Another lost soul. Our kindred. Now, if you're really that desperate, you can just listen to Yahtzee streams on one of like. So I do stuff with Aaron over at Keeper Classes. You can just listen to those at the same time. It's effectively the fucking same. Yeah. It's not like I ever listened to them. Yeah. I don't know. We just sort of talk over you around each other mostly, so. Crimson Peak, yeah. I don't like. I don't think. Like, the thing is. My god, this lady's wearing trousers! Lesbian! Actually, this is the character who you are forced to accept as your love interest at one point. Okay, when you say forced, it forced in the universe or forced. In the game, in the sort of you know, the, the game. The way they tell the plot, just uh, okay. out of nowhere, your character just goes, I've just realized I love you. Well, I mean, like, regardless of what path you're on, I'd absolutely fuck a hot lesbian vampire. I mean, I, sh I assume she'd be bisexual at that point, but like, well, try you anything know, once, or a lady with several like hundred some, times. You know, short. I figure if you were like vampire immortal, you might like get a little bit bored. Like, I mean, I, you know, wouldn't. I'm not interested in men, but I think maybe after like 500 years of vaginas, I'd be like, oh, yeah, you, you want to give it, at least give it a chance. Yeah. Some people don't even wait for 500 years. Let's go, go out and grab a little bit of dick now. Ah, uh, what's the gay district here? I should head down there. I'd be popular there, I reckon. You know, Australian accent, kind of beefy. 
Yeah, you think he's a little bit of action. Yeah. Find a motel or something. You know, bring him back here. Ah. I'm sure he'll take good care of just. Afraid of love. The sun is soon to rise, and you'll need a place to rest. I just need a moment. If I can learn something about what Tom Miller. To William, I haven't read that one. I'll sounds interesting. Look that up. What I don't know where the fuck is Disneyland. I'm fucking tempted to look up, like, because Disneyland's ne in next uh, in Los Angeles. Yes. All right, I feel I feel like that's far away. Yeah, that's a ways to go. That's like. Could it be a day's drive down the coast? New Japan's having a show in Cow Palace, and I, I didn't think about it because I figured they'd be sold out, but they're not. Means there's half a chance I could possibly go see New Japan, which would be fucking rad. Yeah, except you won't. Damn. It's at the Cow Palace. You want to see New Japan? It? You want to see sea lions? Yeah, I mean, I do want to see sea lions. That'd be pretty cool. It's not even like the problem with the romance in in like Shape of Water is the fishman is an actual beast being. Like it's not like, you know, Abe from you know Hellboy who is a person you can have a conversation with. You know, like, I'd absolutely have sex with a cat girl, but not if she was, like, an actual cat Thanks shitting in the yard. Thanks for subscribing, wee bumble do bum. Who says, Gabe, am I having that dream again? Yeah, this is only a one-off, though, wee bumble do bum, so make sure to unsubscribe tomorrow. Yeah. Oh, wee bumble do bum's been around a while. Yeah. Look, like, he's got little icons next to his name. Del Toro does have a good sort of aesthetic, but he's just... I don't know, I feel like he'd work better with somebody else doing a lot more of the actual story and plot. Well... It's a good thing he's working with Hideo Kojima on Death Stranding, then. Oh, Lord. I'm pretty sure he's still on... He was on board for Silent Hills. I read that he wasn't contributing at all. Oh. Yeah, like, it's... Well, didn't he appear in a yeah. trailer for it? Well, no, he's in it, but he's yeah. not actually contributing to the story or anything like that. What a mess. I was curious about that as well. I was, you know... Well, actors can contribute to the story. Yeah... I mean, I, I don't know, I think it's just Kojima desperately wanting to feel cool. What? Who is she? What woman? No, don't claim me for a fool. You don't claim me for a fool, sir. Scowl. That fish dick. Scowl. Somebody said in the comments that scowl is like a Swedish word for shell or hollow or something like that. Hmm. I played this game and I was like, well, you're just making shit up, game. This doesn't sound like vampire lore to me. <laughs> I guess, it's, I guess there's no reason you can't make up your own vampire lore. Fish person. But why is vampire lore all about Swedish words? Vampire the title is a Swedish, is the Swedish word for vampire apparently, but it's a French game set in Britain. Where's the fucking Swedes coming into they this? Just, they just wanted a fancy vampire. They couldn't just call it vampire because already that exists. And, you know, it doesn't sound as rad. Like, we're like, ooh, vampire with a Y. My goodness, what kind of amazing, deep and serious version of vampires will this be? If I, do says, I thought skull was like cheers, as in what you say before you drink. That's S-K-O-L-L. -L. Yeah, that's skull. That's weirdly an Australian for some reason. Oh, by very way. common in Australia. By the way, it turns out we were a famous doctor, and this guy knew all along. Oh, okay. Well, you could have said that earlier, and you would give me a shirt. Well, we were a famous blood doctor, so I guess he thought we were, you know, getting into character or something. <laughs> Vampire. Have we met? I attended three of your seminars before the war. Mm. I have the what the hell was that? <sighs> that was me Montana's having a bit of a stretch in the yawn. England's most oh, esteemed thought, blood uh, specialist returns was a to London a vampire. Yeah. Is that the little, <sighs> like, zombies? Do you get a familiar in this, or do you get, like, a Renfield? Yeah. Well, I guess this guy's sort of the Renfield. He's a human who's just jolly interested in vampires, you guys. I mean, it is interesting. I'd be fucking fascinated by that. Like, do you have, like, you can turn into a gas and fly places. You can't this. turn into a gas. You can just Fart quick, quickly teleport through still. space or something. I mean, still, that's 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 pretty hectic. What was that game, Bureau 13? Did you play that? It's like a 2D adventure game where you chose two characters to play as out of a pool of, like, six or something. And one of the characters was a vampire who could turn this into gas. Sudden. I was returning I home a bell. To see I just can't mother. picture it for some reason. For some reason, every time I go to picture it, my brain just brings up fucking, um... Don Current asks, Gabe, did you ever see what we do in the shadows? I've seen that. Um, yeah, yeah, I love what we do in the shadows. I mean, care to watch that. That's the Jermaine Clement film. The New Zealand vampires film. Yeah, this is very funny. 
You had to stop at New Zealand via flight, didn't you? What's New Zealand like? I don't think I've ever been there. Uh, it has an airport. To bring some clean clothes. That was, uh, that was about interesting. As, about as much as I know about so, Dubai as well. What do you say? Dubai, yeah, I no, stopped I... stopped at the airport once. All I know is that the Dubai airport was still selling choice. music on cassette tapes. And this was in like 2003. Oh, <laughs> this is one for the book. Wow. In the beginning of a what was the name of the game? Friendship. Well, this game. No, the 13 oh, right. thing. Euro 13. Euro 13. Alucard could turn into gas, I guess. He can turn into bats as well. Yes. He could turn into a bat. And a dog. He had oh, everything wow, going a, on, Alucard. Yeah, I was thinking about something completely different. It's an old fucking game tech from 1995. Well, funny, the guy who directed What We Do in the Shadows also directed Thor Ragnarok. Yes, Taiko Watiti. That's a great name. It's Maori for Touch of My Titties. I see. Oh, Doctor, what a night. We lost two more patients. Yeah, New Zealand's like kind of beginner Australia. All the animals were sort of like pre-human. Like, so the birds just became these like little nuggety things. And pretty much... Of course, Doctor. You know, pretty much anything you got to worry about there are the people. Oh, and Dorothy? Yes, Doctor? Dr. Reed here has just returned. Um, but yeah, I, I, I quite like a lot of Taika Waititi's work. Yeah, he's a very distinct style. He did, well, he did um, Hunt for the Wilder People, Boy. Uh, he's actually directing a movie. I can't remember the name of it, but he plays Hitler. This is quite an interesting outfit that our friend just happened to have waiting for us in the boat. That we are now wearing. Yeah, what the hell? Is that a trench coat with leather shoulder pads? I can't look good in that. Just ask her. I think you'd probably look Thank like a massive dog. Fuck yeah. It's difficult to pull off a leather trench coat. Well, that's not leather, tra leather trench coat. That's a regular I'm trench coming. coat with patches, you see. It's got leathery bits. Yeah. Could be leather underneath. Just on the not elbows sure. and stuff. I mean, the problem is there's just literally zero reason to ever wear something that well, I guess it's the coat's person. leather, then so is his suit. Look at that. Like you just, because you know, winter in Brisbane, I get about still in a singlet. Like it's 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 not cold enough to just warrant the. Reed always looks a little bit boss-eyed at this range. <laughs> like, duh. What was I doing again? Yeah, you'd need to be someone of with like Reed's height and build to pull off a coat like that. Yeah, I am a bit of a beef house for it. I grew out of my old coat and then I just gave up. Couldn't be bothered finding a new one. Yeah, I drank this dude. Yeah, he's the f he's the freebie. I like didn't Rotten. I like didn't drink him. I was like, nope, you don't you can't fool me, game. I want the good ending. <laughs> but I think I will drink him today just to see what it's like. Um, I don't have a favorite LD to record because I don't know if they're all pretty well the same. Well, I mean, the times when Yards would forget to record were usually pretty funny. Well, yeah. But you can't go back and watch those because we forgot to record them. Yes, they don't exist. They exist all they do, but only in our memories, and you can never get. You, you may never touch those. They're not for you. I'll kill you. Be more polite. Be more polite, sir. Like, that'd be a fun thing to do with your vampire powers, is like just to really just chastise people about politeness. Yeah, I'd use your, like, mesmer. Jesse Custer, word of God skill, to just to get yes. people to be 10% yes. be more polite in daily life. Be slightly less of a dick. Does that wear off over time? I guess it's the word of God. Um, I don't know, like, in the comics it didn't, like... The purple man's, like, commands wore off after 24 hours. Yeah, well, I mean, in the comics he told one of the guys to count all the grains of beach on yeah, all the yeah, grains of sand on a yeah, beach. Yeah, he had to stay there for yeah. a month doing it. And that didn't seem to fucking wear off, so... I'm going to mesmerize you, Mr. Clay. Um, with our hand. <laughs> you know, something... Somehow I thought we'd use our eyes, but apparently not. Devils, get out! Oh, are you drinking them? Yeah, I'm gonna suck his shit out. Well, not literally, though. Chomp. Um... Chomp. Combo. I, I like the her. entire the entire thing. You know, I'm I, I'm a whole kitten caboodle type fella. Nom 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 nom. Mm. Yum. I am a sucker for a pretty face. Back, you bastard! Didn't have the guts to fuck He's me. He's dead. Fuck you. Yeah. Kill 
Why are we still hearing his voice? He's clearly dead. I think he lives in our brain now. Oh, okay. I'll just uh, boss eyed into space for a second. I have not read American Vampire. That was a slightly tasty man. Why would you watch a stream with the sound off? That's an odd life choice. I was listening to the radio with the sound off the other day. Maybe if they just want to watch a long play of the game. Without having to listen to some Still. dipshit. I don't know, I haven't seen Kes yet. She's off doing... Yeah, she's staying... Things. Away for her. She's staying at the her parents' house for a few days with the dog, so me and Gabe can have some alone time. Because uh, all I'll do with the dog is spin it around in circles and rile it up. He is very easily riled up. The regular chat listeners will know. <laughs> Yeah, there's like a morality clause in this, but it, it seems kind of sledgehammery and you can, I think you can just go in the front. You don't need to sneak around. I know, I'm just exploring the way you're supposed to in games. Exploration. Would I be a vampire or a gold digger? Is a gold digger like some kind of mystic gold digger or is it just someone who marries for money? Because I don't think that's a very, I don't think that's even I a very good question. Well, kind of the same thing. You're both draining something from someone. Yeah, but like vampires have powers. Ooh, fucking gold digger powers. I don't want to shit about that. Yeah, but I don't fucking know. Fuck that, man. I won't be honest. You know, if it came to life, I could have big titties or I could throw a car. I'd be like, fuck you, yeah, I'm going to throw a car. I get like, I get, you, you can throw spears made of blood at people and teleport. I, you know. So vampires drink blood. Do they also shit and piss it out? What can I do for you? And do we stop hearing the voices of our victims in our heads after we do that? You'll find it on the second floor yeah, what would with your you name poop? on the door. You gotta poop something. That's how life First forms crane. work. If we require sustenance, yes, we must also excrete. Welcome to Pembroke Maybe it all comes out of our pores or something. Your office has been prepared. <sighs> I have a few I'm questions. I'm in America, yeah. Hello, I have a few questions first. Do I poop? If you could point me in do the I do poos? Do I get poo poos? Second floor of the Means I suggest they should just the shit solid blocks of iron. Office at the end of the corridor. Yeah, you know. Little, little, little cubes. And Mr. Hampton. How is Mr. Hampton, Hampton my pet him. pig? How does he America's not bad. I don't know, I've only been here for a little while. Probably the one thing I've noticed is that weird thing with the taxes, how it doesn't go on the actual price until the end, which explodes my brain a bit. Yeah, that threw what me when I was here on holiday as a kid. Well, you like, cause... A job from him. But it's the I tipping that throws me now. Lawyer. Yeah, do I get like a fucking, you know, do I get to just walk away from that? Like, do they expect tourists to tip? Well, if you don't do it, they'll think you're a right dipshit. Well, I can't help it. I come from a country that pays like, a f you know, more something closely approximating oh, a living wage. You should have done your research. Yeah. It's right to assume. Yeah, but see, why would I know the difference between what the state taxes and shit are? I go to a place, the thing says it's like $9, and I'm like, oh, that's pretty good, and then it's $10.36. And it's like, I'm not, it's not that that was a deal-breaking cost change, it's just, I, you know, I get like, I had sort of, you know, $10 out, and then I, I realized I was under, and I stood there looking like a dickhead for a second. Well, you accepted the job from him. I think you would have known about your employer. The Logical Sandwich says, considering how much protein a vampire consumes, they should be very gassy all the time. Dibs oh, on yeah. the name Count Flatula. You get hard protein farts. Bye. Thank you, Nurse Crane. Say hello to your friend, your cousin Jonathan, for me. Who is the scarecrow? Like, if just because the thing, the thing that gets me is if all of this is just so expected, just make it the price. Oh, it's True. Yosef Goebbels. Yeah. How are you doing, Yosef? Hello, I'm pointy. I can't think of any better news during these terrible times. Yeah, I remember the we peanut and the taco in Australia. Actually, is that a euphemism for yeah. anal sex? Um, no, but it could very well be. In New York. Dr. Tippett, yes, I remember. I was assisting Professor Carrillo. Yeah, that's the funny thing, too, is like Australia has one and two dollar coins. Whereas here it's all just notes. Yeah. Yeah, all the notes look the same. It's quite easy yeah. to pull like confidence tricks with them. And look at you now. There's a classic trick where you get someone to think you're holding a $20 bill and then quickly switch it out for a $1 bill that you've palmed. And as long as they don't look at the bill again, you can pass it off as a 20 See, the joke's on them because like, I'm paranoid about doing the wrong thing with the money, so I, 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 I eyeball every note of it. <sighs> Tell me about the staff. No thank you. 
goodbye. I think I'll just go to bed and drink some motherfuckers dry. Well, this is the one and two dollar coins. And again, in Australia, I don't use physical currency. I got like a little PayPal card. I might try using that a little bit now. Just this is where the game takes a massive downtime, so we can get to know all the characters. Right. Bollocks like, to that. The three, it's that's like three percent surcharge, and it's like, ah, oh, that's not bad. Let's get back in action. Now, this game did need combat because otherwise, it's so fucking boring. It's weird though, because like the I combat would, feels like an afterthought, just the way it's done. I had an idea. What if to get around the whole somehow killing humans doesn't count if they're vampire hunters? What if the basic combat was just killing like hallucinations as a sort of symbolic? sign of you trying to fight off the vampire urge <laughs> and if you drank blood from your mates that happened less as much how do you think of that chat i think it would fit the it would fit the games come to yahtzee's game concept. surgery i am dr yahtzee no this isn't gonna be a regular thing rot hope yeah i remember you rot hope what about home master whatever that's a question whatever happened, you ask every day Whatever happened to Homemaster? He's probably living in the Playboy Mansion, neck deep in pussy by now, thanks to <laughs> our advice. He's finally mastered the hose. Yes, he's a ho professor now. Mm. Imagine fucking coming to us for relationship advice. Like, imagine that being your fucking protocol for help. This must help. be the place. It's definitely away from burning eyes. Relegated to the shadows. A kingdom of my own. At least I won't be sleeping. Um, I don't know. I think some of the choices in Witcher actually had me pausing because I knew that each one was kind of bad. It wasn't like a situation sort of like um, Bioshock where it's like good ending or bad ending where it's like real fucking easy. Obviously, don't drink the little girls. And yeah. the thing is, like, because the lady gives you bonuses for not drinking them anyway. So I was I was annoyed because just out of curiosity, I drank like one girl and I like, saved all the rest of them. Yeah. And then they get the bad ending anyway. Yeah. So no it's, half it's, measures. Yeah. There's no. Christ! I only killed one little girl. You drink one I'm not a little girl. I'll continue tomorrow night. Well, how kind of someone to board up these and cover these windows before I came in Aren't here. Aren't machine elves pretty much the entire domain of ketamine? I don't think I've ever done ketamine. I like how the only currency is shillings. Shillings? We know a little thing about the pre-decimalized currency. You spend shillings, right? Yeah. What's a tuppence? A tuppence is two pence. Oh, okay. A shilling is five pence. Oh, well, I'm learning. You'd say, I'd, and I think pre-decimalization, a pound was a 240 pence? Fucking Jesus. Something like that. You'd ah, say, decimal. I've got, I've got 15 pounds, four shillings, and sixpence, you'd say. <laughs> yeah, but like, bad and slightly less bad is, is, is harder than just good, bad. I mean, sometimes you didn't even know if the decision you were making was relevant, too. Like, sometimes it'd come up, like, just way later. And I think that's a better way to do it. Because again, any situation like this or fucking Bioshock where it's just black and white and boring is completely letting down the whole concept that it's going for and then wasting a big part of the game's energy. Okay. The amount, uh, the power that increases the amount of damage biting people does? Don't get that, it's shit. You don't, you're not supposed to be using bite as a damager anyway. Bite's just to get your blood back. That's my gameplay tip of the day. Some standard health and stamina ups. It's never wasted if you increase your health and stamina. That's interesting. Mutant it drone. happens. It makes that is also the case in Dark Souls. Yeah. Health and stamina never wasted. Not like resistance. Oh, I've had the surgery for my hip, so I'm, I'm coming good there. Um, I took a while to even diagnose what the problem was. Was the hassle? Ugh. Six pence. Uh, well, that's, that's about all we can do, I think. A threepence. Freshen your tea, Gavna. Feed the birds. Tuppence a bag. Um, um, I'm not teaching yet. I took time off. Like, originally it was going to be a short period of fucking time, but then everything fucking just kept getting worse. Confirm. 
You gotta hold it. Yeah, it does that thing where you have to massage it gently. But, you know, I keep... Hopefully I'll be getting back into stuff once. I've got another three months until my hips technically all healed. Um... Oh, whoa. Yeah. The district is 2% less healthy because we murdered someone. I don't know. Yeah, see, like, I... Do they bother really deeply explaining that? Because it does that thing that fucking Dishonored does where it's like, oh, you killed a lot of people. So the rats became a bigger problem. And it's like, oh, that's dumb. That's a dumb sentence. At least come up with something better than that. This is fucking stupid. This is Whitechapel, I think. Whitechapel's serious, but then isn't it always? And this is the West End. You can tell because someone wearing a top hat there. Yeah. Fancy. Well, I mean, like, the problem with getting experts to look at your bits is, like, when, you know, because I do exercise and martial arts and stuff, so if there's pain, a lot of the time it's just you've got to do physio or you've got to rest it, you know, there's other, there's other, you know, things that are the obvious answers first. So you have to be doing those for, like, maybe about three to, you know, six months before you realize, oh, okay, this isn't working. And so that was what happened with me. I actually had a tear in my labrum and a, a, a growth on the um, hip bone. labia? Yeah. Well, you... That happens, man if labia. You, that happens if you masturbate too fast, doesn't yeah, it? You I'm get a tear in your labia. Bit vigorous. Strumming the banjo a little, an, a little rough. I noticed there's an achievement for Before watering the plant, but I can never figure out how you do it. Water. Find some water. Well, there's a sink. Well, yeah, but you might have to find, like, a watering can. This place is full of vessels. Why can't I use one of these vessels? I don't think it's that, like, clever. Uh, is there a vessel in here? Uh, glass vials. I can't. Even, I can't use these fucking glass vials that my inventory is full of to fill with water to water the plant. Eholy. Yeah. Oh, it's not that I prefer a good honest wank over sex. It's just sometimes it's like easier. Yes, Ms. let's you know, not go I into you? that. I'm so sorry. I know Dr. Swanson. You just, you just no. said I tore we my labia, but you're right. We should, we should, we should not dip too deeply. Personally, I feel like they're Our two different experiences. Yeah. Depleted. I was hoping there I was mean, another box up here, but... Sometimes I'll want to have a wank, and sometimes I'll want to have sex. Have, having sex kind of has a social aspect as well. <laughs> kind of. <laughs> I mean, you have sort to sort of have to look at another person. You have to be considerate of the other person. I guess that's why masturbation has is a different kind of appeal. Yeah. No antiseptics at all. Sometimes I'm going to drink the out. shit out of you. No antiseptics. You have been away too long, doctor. With the war and now this epidemic, supplies have been running scarce. What's, the, what's Cersei months doing now? here? I may have a Hello. I swear, there's only in like France, two the female voice actors in this game. Was a daily Probably, yeah. Uh, had to use our wits to overcome the shortages. However, do you mean? Um, what brings me to America? If combined correctly, <laughs> oh. chemical products can be used in a pinch. You're instead. like the Beatles, you are. Now, where's yeah. the hospital Someone asked, "How are you finding America?" The they said, "We turn right to Black Hawaii, and here this we are." This is Pembroke. Yeah. The space is luxury like we that. don't have. Everything used to be stored in the old morgue. On that, I just wanted to go into space. I actually saw a fucking Where is this news cut out of this guy selling golden the tickets to heaven we so you could go, go in into space and do... But he wanted to go to a planet made of drugs. And his oh, girlfriend... So was yeah, and his girlfriend actually said, I just wanted to go into space and do drugs. I remember reading that and thinking that I owed you some kind of apology. Yay, an abandoned morgue. There'll be some Thank combat you. in that. Oh boy. I'd better investigate and fuck all these twats. It's not like I'm planning on hanging around. Ooh. Yes, enjoy the sound of game releasing. Mm. ASMR video. Ooh, craisins. Oh, crazy for craisins. You'll have to take some back with you. Yeah, I think they might sell them in Australia, but the problem is they're in like the specialty aisle. I do have my canned cheese, though. I'm looking forward to that experience. You can probably get, you know, off-brand dried cranberries wherever. That chick will probably give you a wristy. I don't want a wristy. Oh, I don't want to get involved with these people. I might want to make them my supper. Yeah. Well, I, you know, you can have, you can give you a wristy and then be a light meal. Victorian Clambeck says, usually these streams are boring because you aren't here to rile me up. Yeah. I don't know. I don't listen to them. I don't. I, I don't engage in a lot of internet content. I, I tend to rile Kess up more. more <laughs> often. I, yeah, I can imagine you can just annoy I the shit out of him. <laughs> if they were to find somebody. 
it took a while for her to get a handle on my ironic online personality. Oh, yeah. Because she just knows, like, actual you. Hey, can I drink you? Oh, you're a scow. Oh, fucking what the? Well, I guess I'll kill you then. What's a scow again? It's a ghoul. Oh, yeah, he's like it's a like a failed vampire. vampire. Someone got bitten by a vampire or drank vampire blood, but turned into this. Ow! Ah, oh, you ugly loser. Get off me, you gross and disgusting. Turned into a crowd. You know what he needs is some fucking some neck leather, you know? Drink him. Drink him good. Mmm, cherry Kool-Aid. I think generally, like, the green health, like, you know, comes back, but, like, the more damage you take, the more yeah, the bar gets shrunk, and then you have to drink. Aggravated damage shrinks the bar, and then you can press LB for to use the autophagy skill. Mm, and that brings some of your... Which, uh, which drains some of your blood. Yeah. So, so you, you, need, you, you need, need it be, for health. You need to be drinking blood from your foes fairly regular, like... Just to use basically all your basic powers. Yeah. Kill. Hey, he's got splash damage, even better. Yeah, that was a fucking good. Oh, come on, I dodged that. Yeah. And you're being cheated. What are you playing at? Um, well, the ghouls, or the scowls, or whatever, are kind of. They're, they're more like vampires than they are zombies. But they're not yeah. like. They, they, you know, they don't have. They're semi intelligent? They've got yeah. a. Uh, all pervading hunger or something. Yeah, they're kind of like retarded vampires. And they're ugly to boot. Not yeah. like me. I, I am a prettier than God's own bollocks. I wonder if there is like a, like a vampire with Down syndrome. Probably. There was that old lady vampire at the end of What We Do in the Shadows. I'd probably do that Deliberately, the, the the covenant probably or whatever the vampire fucking cluster would probably have to have a talk with me about making all these downs vampires. It's probably turning into a bit of an issue. Ah, the old morgue. I love going down the old morgue. I think ghouls run the gamut from like basic zombies to sort of yeah, more actual are, de demonic. Ghouls pretty catch all. Yeah. I, I know Vampire the Masquerade is very clear on ghouls being basically what scowls are in this. Ghouls are your Renfields. Yeah. Oh, that was the way out. Silly. <sighs> By the way, if you're watching this on YouTube, then the chat we're paying attention to is on Twitch. We turn off the chat on YouTube because you're, of all the twats. You're second class citizens. So <laughs> you're why don't a bunch come of over. sub monkeys and we don't like you. Why not come over to Twitch? It's twitch.tv slash escapist magazine and we're streaming right this second. Yep. This is your one chance. This is it. This is the thing. This is the moment you've 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 dreamed of, yeah, and probably haven't prepared for because none of you are recording this. We need some ferrous tartrate and some quinine and some sodium hyper hyperchlorite. Oh, cool. Are we making salt and vinegar? Yes, we're making salt and vinegar. I think left, chips. like behind you, there was like one of those wires was like seven meters away. Yeah, they're everywhere. Vampire. Not in here. Yeah, I played Dark Souls 3. What did you think of that one? Yeah, I think having the teleports right from the start fucks up my sense of connection to the world. Like, one of the things I really liked about one is, you know, you're forced to walk around this big, scary world at first. Yeah, I always thought it made a big difference in World of Warcraft that if you were fast travel somewhere, you have to ride a monster and you have to watch the entire ride to get to the place. Mm. You can just get a feel for the... Scale. Big, scale the world and yeah. see places flying past below that maybe you could visit later. Because you're doing, yeah, yeah. Like, visit later. Oh, I could go there. I can go there. That's that's great. And then, because, like, in, in Dark Souls, when you, you're running around, this place is scary as fuck. This environment is hostile. The things in it are mean, and you turn a corner, and there's a huge mean thing. Like, when you first see that dragon, and it's just like, ah, oh, I wonder if I can kill that. Nope. Oh. And then, when you finally do get the teleport, you're like, oh, thank Jesus, like it's a, such an amazing bonus. Well, you'll be pleased to know that Vampire has no fast traveling. Behavior. Which makes it very the bloody world? boring yeah. as you're trying to get through the world. Must be the same strain. Is the, they constantly respawn the standard infinite. enemies. No. So you gotta get into get bogged down in little fights everywhere you go. But that's how you get all your blood back, really. The only issue for me is the combat's just not really all that fun. To the basement. Bottle of alcohol. Party time. Can vampires get drunk in this one? No. Aww. They get a bit spaced out if they don't drink blood for very long. Oh, hello. 
can you turn into mist? Bet you can't. Yeah. I can mist. Oh, you can. I don't think you can do it very well, though. Oh, I was pulled off the boat, actually. Sorry. How embarrassing. How will I show my face at the vampire meeting that I go Here to? Here I am. Because I'm a vampire, drink? not like you. <laughs> do you suppose they let them in the rear to do, like, service and stuff? Yeah, scowls to the scowl entrance. Um, Something's over here. I'm excited for my lesbian vampire, not a vampire, lesbian zombie game. That'll be great. And well, well you, you keep calling it that, but they didn't actually show any zombies. I'm just assuming there's going to be the fucking... It was just religious Nazis. The head cheese. Well, that slaughtering religious nuts is, 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 is always fun. Um, I don't know. I didn't really pay usually close attention to E3. I don't really care. The games are going to come out, so... I'll see them when they get there. I would stop doing my E3 reviews if I thought anyone would actually listen to me about E3. Why? What did you say? I said, don't pay attention to E3. Right. E3 basically teaches you nothing. Everything they show you at E3 has been dressed, absolutely, absolutely yeah. dressed up for days to look the best it possibly can. So you're not actually being informed on the objective quality of the product. Yeah. It's like uh, expecting your McDonald's burger to look like how it looked on the poster. Mm -hmm. These skulls feed from corpses and the husks of animals. Ooh, Donathan Reed, your voice makes me blood. putzy in your hands. All right, so they are actually eating the flesh, so these would be a little more in the zombie territory. Yeah, the skulls eat flesh. Vampires yeah. don't because they're classy. Yeah, that's... you got to water down your wine, otherwise you're one of the disgusting barbarian hordes. Oh, you bastard. I'm using the smaller quick weapon. It would help if I could actually attack quickly with it. How about that game? No. Well, is this, the small quick weapon you've got the, the, the stake? Because it'll always do that weird backhand to stun. Oh, uh, yeah. Possibly. Don't you have a gun? Yeah, but gun's kind of shit. Yeah. Uh, and also, I've got a spear. Yeah, that's right. The magic vampire spear is badass. Thanks for waiting your turn. Oh yeah, Resident Evil 2. I forgot about that. That I'm actually looking forward to. I'm worried because I remember the classic Resident Evil pattern being a good game, then churn out shitty sequels for years until someone goes, oh wait, maybe we should just break everything back down to core concepts and do a completely new idea, and then it becomes good again for precisely one game, and then the cycle begins anew. Mm. It's built on the new engine. And watching actual fucking gameplay of it look nice. And I still enjoy the old ones, with the exception of six. So. I don't. I'm playing through old two again. Yeah, they already started that process of Resident Evil 7 with all the DLC. It's like, hey, let's ruin all the mystique instantly. I only played the Chris DLC. Yeah, that's free. That, that's another symptom of it, bringing back all the old characters that no one actually cares about. I'm just saying. Chris. Well, everyone likes Resident Evil again. Guess we better bring all the fucking cannon back. Which was funny considering what a wild departure. Yeah, it was. The cannon was, was a mess. That's what kept ruining things. I honestly just Resident didn't Evil care. Four was good because it kind of got away from the cannon, and then Resident Evil Five said, "Bring it all back." Yeah. Oh, that gone. A used Liston knife. Oh, okay. This is a knife that can also absorb blood when you use it. But I won't bother using it, to be honest. Complete oh, a citizen investigation. saturation. What fun. Ouroboros. Find out Jonathan the cause of course. death of this dude. I'd better look into this. <laughs> I like that you're breaking into like a hidden abandoned morgue and then doing work. Yeah, and there's a fresh corpse in it. <laughs> like, Who the fuck put this here? Kicking a door down in the post-apocalypse and seeing a computer with like a half-finished Excel spreadsheet and you're like, oh. The chest was originally open. Yeah. Gotta add these expenses. The I thought an autopsy clean. required a Y incision. Or is that a more modern invention? Wouldn't have a clue. I could see that as being a more modern Traces invention. I think this is just the olden days where you could just cleave a cunt open. Some sort of drug overdose, perhaps? Multiple Damage abrasions um, and scarring on the uh, Resident Evil 7 is nominally connected to the others. Someone wiped their hot dog off on him. <laughs> These are distinct wiener rubbings. A puncture over is Gabe the still line. fat? Yes, he is. Possibly yeah, I'm a chunky monkey. Insertion. He's been skimping on Not the exercise. I've come here to get uh, 
Get even fatter. Yeah. Kill himself with burgers. Yeah, I'm gonna eat burgers. Signs of Just living in America, it's easy to so gain weight, even sticking to your, what you thought was your usual diet because of the added corn syrup they put in everything. <laughs> and the portion sizes are bigger yeah. too. Yeah. I've had a Wendy's burger. I, I, it was all right. It was the, the triple Dave. I'm not sure why it's called the Dave. I, I guess I'm missing something about the deep complexity of Wendy's law. I never understood that. Um. Yeah. I would like to do a food challenge. I would like to find like a steak that I'm supposedly not able to complete. Isn't there a hilarious video online of you eating Powerade powder? <sighs> Probably. Is that what you're doing since I left? Um. Yeah. Well, no. Aaron dared me to eat Powerade powder, and I was like, "All right." Okay. So it sounds like you're easily persuaded. Well, provided it's not something like it depends on what it is. Like I'm not oh, like you, you know, hey, I dare to shove like this entire robot arm up your bum. I'm gonna tell you to get fucked. But like powered powder, all right. Um, you know, it's like I'll eat a burger that's like a I dare you to eat this really huge burger. Huh? You're running out of stealth. You get uh, fucked up, Croshaw. Oh yeah. What about now? Oh shit. Yes, eat them. Eat them good. Arr, arr, arr. Thanks, John Doe. It probably just is corn feelings. syrup in there. Is that Alan Smithy? That's Alan Smithy. Yeah. Yeah, is is like in and out or something around here? Is that one of the ones that is? Uh, there's, there's that and like five guys, which are meant to be really yeah, good. Yeah, those are like very common chains. I am not trying some of that. I figure I can get by here just eating nothing but burgers. Probably. That's all you'd want to. Because I'm on holiday. You know, we have a bit of a, you know, a bit of a novelty factor to it. Just get by and nothing. Like, you know, I can understand you not doing it because you live here. This is, you know, a plan for you. To me, this is an adventure. It's like I've jumped into the TV. And the idea of, you know, following that up with just nothing but burger consumption kills uh. me. Right down to my Williams. You're gonna have to bite him again. Yeah. Or use your fucking, you know, your... So now I do need to bite someone. Quite badly. Oh, yeah, yeah. Slurpy, slurpy. And here's some more punishment for you, sir. He keeps creating this fucking shadow version of him, which is bullshit. Ah, oh, he's dead. Eat shit. Ha! These Eat shit. So John Doe. I'm not sure I can Thank you very much for all the blood. Longer. Well, I'm gonna have fries, dragon Jesus, and soda. Oh yeah, that was the thing, like, you know, you order a large here and it's fucking the size of your goddamn torso. Yeah. Like, cause you got the small and that's Australian big. Yeah. That's nuts. It's gotta be the soft drink, really, that's doing it. Like, cause you could just finish so much of that shit yeah, and it's just all yeah, sugar. you could lose a lot of weight cutting out a soft drink. Yeah, that's the one thing I say to people constantly, is like, oh, I wanna lose weight, stop drinking soft drink. Yeah. I drink it quite rarely these days. Mm. And when I do, I get like, fill the cup with ice and get about half. I mean, I drank more yesterday because I was very hungry and celebrating. Yeah. I had I had a root beer, Ooh. which I have kind of a taste for these One days. One rooted beer, please. Barkeep. I had just a Coke. Yes, you just skimped on the uh, flavor syrups that those new fancy fountain oh, drink dispensers can provide. I wasn't certain about a flavored Coke. I was tempted to get like a fucking Wendy's soda, but I have no idea what that was. Like it just didn't seem to explain anything further, like what kind of flavor I was in for, you know? Is it a cola? Is it, you know, a root beer? Is it this creamy soda? I just, you know. Back for good. Yeah, I've, I've, I've emigrated to the United States. I've so. tried cream soda. I hate that shit. Yeah, it's disgusting. Just, mm. uh, well, who wants to drink cream? Because that's what it tastes like. You know, like someone tried to make a creamy tasting soft drink. And why would you want? Exactly. I mean, I will say one weird thing about the Wendy's burger is the patties smelled bad but tasted good, and I couldn't quite put that together it's in my head. It's all right. I mean, I would like a, you know, uh, uh, do they sell those fucking Chicago style pizzas here? Like the deep dish ones? Oh yeah, that uh, pizza place I told you about earlier. Oh, place. metal. Yeah, no, that I have to try. Because that, those that's are the, just... That's the weird kind where they put the cheese on the bottom and the tomato on the top. Well, yeah, well, it's it's like a fucking, you know, ankle deep pie, but made of pizza. And I need, I need to try that. Because well, that deep. you can't find them in Australia, really. I'm sure they'll probably crawl across because like... A lot of American food cultures kind of crept into the into Australia, but like I, I would like a, a pizza that's set out to kill me. I'm mm. short on blood, and you're level five, so give me. And again, and again, in a bit. 
and again, and again. Ow, you knocked me over, you cunt. Deep fried cola. Ow. He's there, I keep up on my reading in terms of education. Like, there was a Gonski review in Australia. I tend to focus mostly on Australia because it's, you know, the only part that's really all that relevant to me, although it is fun to read about the rest of the world. Ha. Um, Interrupt, bitch. Yeah. Well, that you got, like, fucking vampire spear. That thing's wicked. Uh, <laughs> Sauce hole. Can you don't says pizza is not a pie. I'm with him on that. Stop calling pizzas pies, America. A pie is a thing you put steak and kidney in. Mm. I'm hungry now. Like I've been talking about burgers and pizza, and now I want to eat. We already had a big breakfast, although I guess it's lunchtime now. Yeah. You got up very late, but then that's jet lag for you. Yeah, I, I, you've no idea how much after trying to sleep on a fucking plane, just being able to lie down flat was... I woke you up with my coffee maker because I just could not wait staying quiet any longer. Yeah. I needed my coffee. Oh, I don't food. mind being like, if you want to wake me up with coffee, that'd be that'd be fucking fantastic. Oh, I'm happily. You. It was I coffee know, for I, me. I actually said to hey, make me one, and you didn't. I didn't, I didn't hear you. Actually. Now I know how to make them myself, so. You, well, I, sh I showed you once. Yeah, you educated me. Oh, that's okay. It's like 7.5, you know, seconds for a quality grind. Then you put it in and you tamp it and then. You make sure that the first light on the left is on, and then you make sure there's water in it, and you put the little doodad in, you put the glass under, and then you wait till the second light comes on, and you click the little button, and off it goes. And then you wait until it's about, you know, all the way full if you want a double shot. And then you gotta, you know, pour out the, the grinds into the bin, otherwise they'll clog up the sink, and then you wash yeah. it off and wipe Don't it out. Don't pour coffee grinds down the disposal. So yeah, I know what I'm Peeps. doing. Especially not espresso grinds. Yeah, because they're powdery and they'll the plump up. Attach it to the sides of the pipe like cholesterol in a fat person. You can largely deep fry fucking anything. I mean, there's that series on like Netflix, which is just about deep frying, and people get crazy with that one. I mean, a lot of it's really fucking cool. I'd love to love to try some of that. Now, do you remember how to dispense hot water from the steam one? Um. Okay. So you gotta. So I, I'd be helpful if I could look at it because I don't remember the descriptions of the things, but I remember the physical, the, the, the motions. Because you gotta like turn the little cup thing and then turn the. Now you gotta press the steam switch first. Yeah, the steam switch. And, and then, then wait for the light to come on again, and then turn the and then. Press the third switch because if you turn the knob before you press the third switch, you'll just get steam. Steam, yeah. You gotta press the third switch and then turn the knob to get hot water. Although a lot of steam will come out as well. Oh, I used that's not a hacksaw, that's a bone saw. Get not, it right. I'm not angry. I'm, I'm, I'm. Get it right, friend. Really good. I had a, I had a breakfast at a at a place that did like you know scrambled eggs and stuff, and they had yeah. like and breakfast potatoes. Yeah, breakfast which potatoes. Is very, another very American thing. Yeah, like that's. Cause I noticed that at like one of the other places I was looking at, like just through the window, it was like breakfast potatoes. I was like, oh, that's interesting. And then yeah, yeah those breakfast meaning, potatoes with my breakfast. Meaning fried potatoes. Yeah. Fried up with everything else, in a big fry up. French fried potatoes. Right. An enigmatic formula. You know, I got through the whole. Last time I played the game, I got through the whole thing without finding the treatment for the last three. Huh. I must have missed something obvious, but I still beat the game with the best ending. What are they for, like? That's for, for the treatment of headache, which progresses to migraine, and which progresses to neuralgia. <laughs> Obviously, the easiest thing to treat is headaches. You want to get on top of that early. Hmm. Oh, okay, so you can get illnesses deeper into the game. Yeah, you see, the blue and the purples. Oh, is there asthma at there? Is pneumonia? Require oh, much more ingredients. Bronchitis sucks. Pneumonia sucks. So, yeah, I had viral wanna, pneumonia once. You want to get on top of the cold before it turns into anything worse. And of course, um, the most pretty much everyone I encountered was suffering from fatigue. <laughs> everyone got fatigue. And that's not even a disease. It's, yeah. Sepsis, anemia. It progresses to anemia and then sepsis. That doesn't make sense. I, don't even know. I haven't I'm played before sure the storm is. yet. No, I haven't. I haven't got caught up with my little teenage lesbians. Oh, actually, I got the ingredients to make fatigue medicine, which, as I said in my review today, is probably just Red Bull. <laughs> can you? So, it, is that for keeping yourself healthy, or can you heal other people? No, this who... is just for healing other people. Oh. It's just to maintain the health of the district. Huh. What happens if it goes down? Well, Dyson Delaney's got fatigue. What happens if he doesn't? Like, does his life change? Will he clean himself? Will he get off the booze? Well, if uh, you see the yellow bar on his blood quality, yes. that's because he's fatigued. Okay. If he got rid of his fatigue, his blood would provide more XP. 
See, so isn't a whole big pile of it tied to consuming people, which you don't want to do generally anyway? Well, like, also, if people are sick, the status of the region goes down. Okay. And if it goes into hostile, there'll be much more combat to take care of when, uh, you're, in, right. when you're in the area. I don't think there's... Outback Steakhouse doesn't actually exist in Australia. And from I what I know... I wonder why no one's been kind of thrown by the sight of Dr. Reed's eyes. Uh, uh, I just, just assume, you know, everyone's like, so sick. I couldn't yeah. help noticing your uh, eyes are the colour of tomatoes. Are your there, kidneys Dr. Reed. fucked? Like, you do cry blood. In this game, vampires cry blood. Oh, God. I'm really, I, I imagine the scene that illustrates that is incredibly overwrought. Right, where are we? Oh uh, yeah, it's time to level up in bed. We could level up. Mm, no, we can't. We need to be French level fried eight. Potatoes. I never used the defensive oh, abilities him. either. Ah, uh, defense is for losers. Yeah, just dodge. You yeah. can dodge for days. I mean, all you have to do is upgrade your stamina recovery and stuff, and you're basically fucking untouchable. Yeah, let's uh, bring stamina back up. That's the most important thing. There's nothing really, like, that's the problem, is Australian... I mean, aside from probably the meat pie, which is, although the meat pie floater is another very, like, Australian oh, thing. Oh, yes, the meat pie floater. I never got a chance to try a meat pie floater, because I was just intimidated by the concept. They are honestly not bad. You know, actually, they're quite... They're they kind of sound gross. They're a bit messy, yeah. If you're not familiar, a meat pie floater is a meat pie in pea soup drenched in ketchup. That's that's it. Yeah. That's Australian cuisine for you. Yeah, nobody in Australia drinks Fosters. Yeah, don't order a Fosters in Australia. It's the mark of the tourist. Order mm. a VB, Victoria. You order a VB or a two X. or a two E's new. Not yeah. even four X is is a. It's a very Brisbane one. I don't, well, it's just because it's brewed there, but yeah. I very rarely saw anyone order it. Oh, how many times were you in bars where people like that were ordering? Like, trust me, the big pubs and stuff, they do a gangbusters trade in fucking Forex. Well, I'll take your word for it. Alright, we have to in interrogate someone about medical error. It's not exactly a pea soup, it's sort of like liquidized cooked peas. Oh yeah, mushy peas. Yeah, mushy peas. So it's kind of like mashed potatoes made out of peas, so, but it's, it's more liquidy. Do you like poutine? I haven't had it, but I figure it's just was it's like chips with gravy. Wow. There used to be a New York fries in Brisbane where you could get poutine. That's, yeah. And that closed down before I left. Let's ask tons of personal questions. Oh, we can't. What's with your face? Why do you look like all the other ones? I don't want to ask Goodbye. these bloody dialogue trees. We've only got a two-hour stream. I want to bite more things. Well, there's Forex Gold, which I can't remember what the difference is. I think that's kind of a mid-strength. I was at a Korean barbecue the other day, and we ordered like a Korean beer to go round. They had, they sell it in huge plastic bottles, like it's Coke or something. But it it was so light; it was like drinking sparkling water. What, what was it? It was like four percent proof, like Korean beer. Huh. It was it was a very good accompaniment to the spicy things we were eating, though. Veggie. Who are you? Good evening, Doctor. Oh, it's uh, Herbert West. I look, yeah, I was thinking the exact same Dr. fucking thing. Don't you reanimate nothing on my watch, that's my job. Yeah. Such good fortune. Such an honor. Yeah, sir. I can use chopsticks. Thank you. Yeah, you there's a, I am quite a lot of Strickland. Asian cuisine Dr. in Brisbane that I had to learn once I moved there. I'm lots of Asians. Of there's an entire suburb called Sunnybank that's just basically New Taiwan. <laughs> Bored now. Goodbye, Dr. Bored of you, Dr. Strickland West. <laughs> yeah, it's all right. I mean, if you're a huge gay lord for vampires, you'll probably enjoy it a bit more. Mm. I think n none of really what they've set out to do is accomplished remarkably well, and the combat's not very good, and yeah, the general are. movement of the character is sort of floaty. And the dialogue's dialogue's boring, and combat's bad. Guess they should have focused on one or the other. Yeah. Don't nod. And you know what? I respect Don Nod for their ambitious streak, though they always tend to fuck something up. I think, like, you maybe get only a few stabs at ambition before you should settle the fuck down and maybe do one thing properly. Well, I guess they got cocky after Life is Strange. 
It's like, yes, we yeah, focused on the time rewindy thing. That was also just a fucking puzzle game, you know? There was no combat in that. <laughs> Who are you? Hello! Hello, freshen your tea, love. Where's this bloody side quest then? Was it originally oh, written in French or and translated, or was it written in English? I feel like it could have been written in English, but it is possible given the French developers. I don't know. You, you're the. Who cares anyway? Because English is lingua, lingua franco. You gotta d do it in English or do it in nothing. About your medical error, you fool! Kukorn, I want you to tell me about now the Mr. munter Kukorn. becomes the munter. How did he die? What happened? He was my patient. Died because of my mistake. Oh, I remember the dialogue and remember me. Truth. There was one bit where she says, "This little red riding hood has a basket full of kick-ass." That was a line she said. Now, just imagine that yelled Ooh. in a imagine that yelled in a defiant, triumphant voice. <laughs> Basket full of kicker. Being delivered by someone who sounds more like the head girl instructing the hockey team. It's a little on the nose. What was the nature of the Um, equally the uncertain, the most ignorant opinion I held as a young adult was that I should ever listen to equal be the uncertain. Ho ho! Why not? Yeah, he's, was, been spamming was, that, he's been spamming that question for hours. Yeah, I know, and that just annoys the shit out of me. Yeah, I hate when people do that. You're not special. I mean, Neither also, like, who fucking cares? <sighs> Bored of you. Axis. I gotta watch that again. I haven't watched that in a while. There was also an adventure game made of fucking Dark Crystal, actually. But it was for, like, really yeah. early Commodore. Where's Gwyneth Branigan? You're supposed to use I your, missed like, you too, pain next killer. You're supposed to use your vampire powers to locate people within like a maximum range. I think she hangs out outside. Agony is not a fun game. It's not even good at what it's trying to do. Yeah. Shock, in other words. Yeah. It's trying to shock. But like, I, I don't know, I mean, part of it is I, I, I admit I do not like the little hide-and-seek games, I just find them really fucking I'm boring. And, you know, ultimately the things they're trying to make me hide from are just like fucking eight-foot tall rape goats, and it's like, look, that's not that fucking scary, really. So like, you can rotate the camera here, but none of the camera angles look good. Are useful? No, because you're just slightly rotating, yeah, it's, it's weird. None of it lets you sort of... That, it, that's off-center. Shot, reverse shot, all kind of wrong. This is off-center. So we could, if we think we're ugly, well, we could just stand like this. Let's do that. Well, yeah, those are wicked shoulder patches, and I enjoy yeah, the show. Yeah, let's enjoy these shoulder patches for a bit. Do you think, you when on his off days, he sort of tries to play merry pranks by crouching down behind a leather armchair? Yes, <laughs> Hello, it is me. I am the chair. See, I reckon that's great for rolls. Like you could do a shoulder roll without Tell like fucking up your battle jacket. No, I don't watch Steven Universe because I am not a homosexual. <laughs> that was an ignorant thing to say. Don't get me wrong, though. It's it's fantastic if you are turbo bi. You can't allow your emotions to dictate your conduct concerning patients. I mean, I loved Gravity Falls. I think that was amazing. I came a little late to Gravity Falls, and my brother recommended it. And what got me was it's two seasons and it ends and that's it. I was like, that's fucking amazing. Do you watch Rick and Morty? Yeah. I think they got like approved for five seasons now, because they've been going from season to season. But like, you know, now they've got. This like, is one of those things where five. you have to, if you pick the wrong thing to say, you don't get like the additional facts about a person and can't unlock the maximum blood value. Praise them, maybe. Like that always seems sensible. I understand what you did, for I am Jesus Christ the Vampire. <laughs> I can't say I approve. As a field surgeon, I know that some situations require turbo bar. I'm not proud of what I've done, but to contain the epidemic must be and our priority. So we can't afford to lose Dr. Tibbet. Oh yeah, it's not like Steven Universe makes you buy. Like that's not how it works. You have to walk under Goodbye. a fucking ladder while holding Call a black cat. Me. And then you're like, huh, other genitals. Uh, we could cover Dr. Tippett in exchange for his resignation, or trust Gwyneth Branigan and cover Dr. Tippett's error. Cover Dr. Tippett's error, he seems like, he seems nice enough. 
Let's let let's keep some like lunatic mad, possibly criminal surgeons at work here. We need all of them. I've decided that I won't reveal Doctor Tippett's. Yeah, but see, like, what makes it, it's the, the whole hint required thing of the Asian means you have to sc plow through dialogue trees of this character and all the other characters to discover facts about other people. And then interrogate them about it. Tell me more about this interesting fact about yourself I found out. I think it's really dumb having a hint required this sign there. You, you know. He doesn't need to know you've found should, out. Uh, this is inorganic to me. It should be folded in oh. better. Oh, yeah, we failed. See, we don't get... Now we can't get oh, maximum well, blood shit. quality from Dr. Tippett. Thanks oh, a lot, shit. Gabe. I was looking forward to ripping his throat out. Well, I guess the investigation succeeded nevertheless. I need to craft a fatigue. Oh yeah, Jaggismo, you gotta be careful. You can't mix too much, you know. Like if you watch Rick and Morty, Gravity Falls, and Phineas and Ferb, you turn into a diaper furry. You, gotta, you have to, you have to, you have to pick and choose. Yeah, you can't it's like watch. A it's like a magic ritual. Yeah, you, you just you, you fucking you it's like be saying careful. Candyman five times into the mirror. Yeah. You can watch two, but not all three. That's because that's when it happens. Yep. I got a bottle of cheap gin and a small bottle, but what's in the small bottle? Whiskey. Hmm, perhaps we'll make cocktails. Yeah, can you just start killing everybody? Well, as I say, you need to be maximum mesmer Mes power. Mesmer. How do you get mesmer up? I think it's just fixed moments Tumbling in the plot. Tumbling Sky, Google Diaper Furries, and maybe like Rainfo Rainforest Con or something. I think it was Rainforest Con. No, don't do that. Oh, do it. All right, let's treat someone for fatigue. All right, great. Yay. <laughs> Imagine that guy running at you. Hello, I have Hello. a treatment for your fatigue. Hello, I'd like to inject you with something. <laughs> ah, ah, it's just a little needle. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. Yes, then perhaps in return, you could inject a little something into me. Just a little. Just a little. How do you do the ASMR? Why is it called that? It stands for something. Yeah, I figured it was an acronym, but I couldn't remember what it was for. No, I can't remember. I mean, it's is it literally just, just being really close? Like, can I speak in like no, a regular tone of voice? It's something to do with like uh, creating physical sensations like through this? sound, like that wubba, 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 wubba. YouTube video of like the barber's shop. If you listen to it to headphones, they do weird things. They put like a bag over the microphone. It sounds like you got. It feels like you got a microphone. It sounds like you got a bag over your head. Because I've listened to them with headphones on and, like, nothing... I don't know, I don't know what the fuck was supposed to happen. Was well, first you need to listen to that barbershop one specifically. Waiting for something and then just... Because at the end he, like, whispers in your ear and you can feel your ear sort of prickle and recoil from it like he's right next to it. Huh. Alright. So what, I have to be in a barbershop and put headphones on and put a brown paper bag No, you don't head. have to be in a barbershop. You've got... You've misunderstood me, you fool. Oh. He said barbershop, though. The Ice Cube movie? Like, can I listen to the sequel? Finally, you've returned, Doctor. Did you find anything of value? What, what, what do you want about? Yes, nurse. You've worked your first miracle, Doctor. Now, this patient here needs paper. immediate treatment. Duty calls. Well, yeah, I get goosebumps, but not by passed, that. I'll show you how to mix the remedy yourself with the same basic ingredients. Many thanks, Doctor. When you finish, you'll have a sensory meridian response. That doesn't really like. For you. Seems pressing. Isn't the meridian a really shitty episode of Deep Space Nine? <laughs> I have a response. I have a bad response to that. A, it's Jadzia Dax focused, who's the most boring character. Uh, and B, it's one of those terrible, doomed romance of the week episodes. Uh, I like the Deep Space Nine episodes that are about torturing Colm Meany. Yes, and torturing other members of the cast. Pretty much everyone gets their turn on the torture rack. Doesn't it happen to Chief a bit though? Like he gets yeah, they do it to the Chief more though. because he's like the everyman, so that people relate to it. <laughs> Ostensibly. <laughs> Isn't that great. Oh, you have a balcony. I didn't even notice that. Yeah, nice, isn't it? Huh, <sighs> what are we doing? Talking to Edgar Swansea. Swansea. Is that the guy we got off from like not being in trouble or? That's our nurse, that's our Enfield friend, man. Who, uh... Oh, right. Introduced himself to us by throw, pushing Please, a great Jonathan, big cross in our Tommy. face. Yeah, I'd be researching that. Fascinating, is it not? 
In the last decades, yeah, he was in the brain prison for 500 years. And then there were those aliens that like... 20 body. years. 20 years Biology brain prison. And then there was the episode where he was arrested by the Cardassians. As like a Cardassian publicity stunt. <laughs> and, and then there was the episode where he has to... <laughs> You, he dies, friend, but gets replaced countries. by a version of himself in the future. It's at least as as chatting about no, I did not have fish. more tacos with chili lime peanuts in them. This must be also it's weird the you. things that like people think. You know? Like that person's probably thought about that event in my life more than I've thought about it, and that's my life. I wish I could share your enthusiasm, Doctor Swansea, but my condition defies scientific categorization. Undead. O'Brien's suffering was quality suffering, though. He just has that, he has a he's great just, face. He's just fun to watch him suffer. <laughs> crinkle up his little potato <laughs> face. Uh, yeah, why is this happening to me? Detonate a car airbag in his One butt. Say, and that's why they paired him with Bashir, because Bashir was deliberately supposed to be the most annoying character in the show. Didn't the actors not like each other? No, they liked, they, they got on well. They went to bars together. Uh, Cole Mini used to think it was funny to take him to, like, Irish pubs in America. <laughs> and they hated his guts because he had a British accent. I like that American Irish there. keep the fucking fight going longer than the goddamn Irish Irish. And they sort of worked their friendship into the show. I'm a living paradox, sir. There is an absurd <laughs> poetry to my situation. Physician, heal thyself. Forgive me. I've been an admirer of your work for a long time and... Now you are Shaq Fu more than that. 2 Brilliant was position. fucking terrible. Like, and I played that recently, and it is absolutely awesome. Yeah, we were look I was just watching the uh, previously recorded stream of that. It, it certainly looked like a game that was kickstarted and overfunded. It's fucking garbage. You can always tell, because they always, they always seem like they're... They're a little bit low on quality, because they've probably suffered from some feature creep in development, and also a little bit too pleased with itself. Uh, More features the, would have actually been nice. Those are the telltale signs of the overfunded, crowdfunded project. So Thank fucking you. bad. <laughs> but I'd rather you didn't speak so lightly about my condition. There is nothing I find amusing about this situation. Very well. I have a task for you, Jonathan. Old Shaq Fu, as little reason as it had to exist, makes more sense that it existed. New Shaq Fu was made with the knowledge of old Shaq Fu. Yeah. And so honestly, I'd rate it as worse. Like, Shaq Fu 2 is a worse game because it had more option not to be shit. A spokesman or politician is what you need. That's not my calling. Like, there was no reason Shaq Fu 2 is as bad as it is, except I just couldn't be bothered just blatant laziness. I'm so ready to finish this stream. I forgot how fucking boring this game is. Lady Ashbury. Living paradox. Look at my stash. Maybe we'll, we could fit another stream in on Saturday at some point. Yeah, I've got the Street Fighter 30th anniversary on Steam. It's a lot of fun. There's a few little tweaks I'd make to it. Apparently they are getting a thing where you can, like, basically block people who have shitty connections, which is good, because holy shit. Um, but aside from that, it's great, uh, great to have around. I mean, I really hope they'd add, like, a different version of Alpha 3, because the arcade version's missing about 10 characters that the later console versions had. Anime is for Life says that Doctor looks like Geraldo Rivera. A little Ev bit. Everyone in this game looks like someone. I mean, our main Faces. Character, main character, as I said, is Gary Rhodes with a beard. We met John Richardson and the fat bloke from It's Always Sunny. Yeah. Fat Mac. Australian internet may as well be made up. <laughs> Don't know who that was like. That was like black John Richardson. Drink her. Is this all we can drink right now? Drink the slurry. I don't think we've met enough people to be able to drink them. Ah, oh, god damn it. I think there's a couple of Mesmer level 1 patients. But, you know, that feels yeah, drink particularly unethical. No, I have a good Australian connection. Like, it's expensive and, like, you have to be lucky. Like, if you're in a good spot, you get a good connection. Mm. So I have a good Australian connection. Mr. Rain. It's just there's nothing in the uh, in the version of the moment to go, okay, I don't want a connection level below four. So you wind up with people who have connection level of one. Like, you joke about Australia, we get like Malaysians and shit whose internet is like tin cans and bullets. 
and you know I don't I, I as bad as Australia is I don't deserve that you're the sweet sweet lady of mercy uh, I think we're coming on to this lady now hell yeah well, someone is Good she evening, looks Dr. like it's Ziggy Stardust you <laughs> or is it Aladdin surprised. Sane what's Dr. the one where he's got Stanley that weird substance coming out of his shoulder blade appointment I don't know I can't you remember. know no, I don't. I don't. I'm not a fucking goddamn. You know. They're on the album the cover, heart. he's got like the lightning bolt in his there. face and a curious gel-like substance coming out of his shoulder blade. I didn't know about the shoulder blade thing. I remember the face. But I think I think that was a lad insane. This time. My name is Lady Ashbury. I remember. Oh, lad insane. Let's look this up. In All right, come on, internet, help me out here. Swansea fancies vampires. I could fancy you, my dear. Um, yeah, that, that is... That's the one with the face thing. Yeah. Oh, yeah, the gel on the shoulder. The yeah. weird gel coming out of the shoulder blade. Dr. Huh. Swansea is a remarkable man. Dedicated, one might say, obstinate? He spent years compiling our bestiary. I hope you're more disposed to answer my questions now. You must have countless questions. <laughs> I'll have an urgent matter first. Swansea has explained my cover if you put Dorian Clambeck says every damn modern 3D game seems to have something vision something vision I think that's just a side effect of every game being having such cluttered environments now yeah it's gonna be like hundreds of assets and bins and well it's that issue of like do you have a room that has nothing in it except the items you need or do you have one that has shitloads of stuff in it you gotta bumble around clicking A on everything and then you hope I am perfectly happy with that if it's a game like Quake or Serious Sam oh yeah no like I wouldn't well, do those do those have object vision yet Sam Vision. It just highlights the enemies more. Don't think so. But Serious Sam BFE had a bad case of fill the environment with bullshit. Huh. And I was playing, replaying Serious Sam 1 HD yesterday, and it's just nice and clean. That's nice, clean yet. corridors with nothing in it but monsters and pickups. That's nothing. what we, that's what I like in a shooter. Nothing but screaming grenade men. Well, wasn't um. I remember the first one I remember really using it a lot was Batman, and it had Detecto Vision. Yeah, because you need to be able to distinguish which aspects of the clutter are important. Yeah. You know, clutter is like a acceptable if you're doing a game with an exploration element where you have to find specific objects in the clutter. But then, like the using the special vision power, sort of removes the exploration aspect. And you could just design the thing that's important so that we can see it's important from looking at it. That could just be as simple as using a shade of red you don't use anywhere else. Like the save points in Silent Hill 2. I mean, I think it fit a little I'll bit with, care. you know, Batman because of the whole idea of gadgets and seeing start. through, you know, he could use it to see enemies and top yeah. out, you know, target. Yeah. That made sense because he was, like, reading his enemies you as he fought them, which local gossip, the player Harriet wouldn't Jones? be able to do without Can't Batman reflexes. Without her hearing about it. Don't have Batman. My life, as others know, is in your hands, Dr. Reed. I'm sure of your discretion, but I do fear your powers of persuasion. I've never been able to get into the Assassin's Creed games, although I would like to play the pirate one eventually. Yeah, see, the Assassin's Black Flag is good in all the bits where it isn't being an Assassin's Creed game. Yeah. It's fun to, like, sail your ship around and get into ship fights. Yeah, that's what I wanted to do. But then every now and again, throughout the story, they force you to come back to land and tail someone. Sure. Always with the fucking tailing. Oh, hey, the, the glistening effect has got some of the space ants going. Yeah, what's that? That's a weird uh, yeah, the first an anti aliasing thing. The first time I played Agony, the environments were just full of space ants. But then when I streamed it for the post ZP stream, suddenly the space ants were gone. Maybe they cheekily patched it. Because I know that's a big issue in Resident Evil 7 unless you use, like, just FXAA. If you use SMAA, you get, like, fucking... Yeah, it's an anti-aliasing problem. The sparklies. You know, in some contexts, it makes sense. Like, if you've got a, a surface of water, it is going to... Yeah. In a certain lights, it is going to sparkle like that. You know, not there. But not there. Not on a wicker basket. That's no. my sparkle basket. That's where I keep my glitter. Got it. Got to have a sparkle basket. Get out of my way, postman. Who's 
Who doesn't like a bit of ginger vampire? Gingivitis? What? what? Maybe not what that. Who are you? Get out of my room. There's no need for alarm. Oh, this is the Dr. bitch lady who we hate. Oh, good. Bite her brain. Dr. Reed, you say? I don't want some bumbling intern. Do I still play VR games? I mean, Christ, who cares about agony? I haven't much, unboxed really. my Oculus Rift in the longest time, but I got my PSVR out because it's the easiest one to set up and use. I hate how the Oculus makes you set up fucking sensors all around the room. And put even more trailing wires everywhere. I like that the, the PSVR just needs one camera. What games have you got on the PSVR? Uh, a couple of things. I've uh, I played Doom VFR on it. Shut up! If you continue shouting, I'll have you restrained and gagged. Understood. Yeah, Sovereign 46. Spoiler warning, this character is the final boss. Not in her current state, obviously. Huh. It's kind of complicated. What happens? I'm not telling yet. Oh. You'll have to buy the game to find out. I don't want to. That's the kind of spoiler that intrigues, isn't it? Yeah, that, that is interesting. It's like, what's that? That's the boss. Really? Yeah. Than any Crazy old lady. I mean, her eyes look weird from here, but I can't tell if well, that's... Everyone's eyes look weird in this game. I yeah. There have been some despicable goings on. Was there a case so she's like the queen Black vampire Black. or something? Black. Nah, at this point, she's completely Black. human. That's the kind of fucked thing. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah, no, I almost want to play <laughs> this now. Well, so I, also, PSVR, I found I can wear with my glasses, and I couldn't do that with the Oculus. They're just that, like... Push the glass I into my face you, and it hurt. This is not an investigation into a possible medical error. Debauchery, then? Well, yes, all right, King of Landon, maybe I'll make this stream unlisted on YouTube. Ooh. Listed, rather. Ooh. If you're very good. Ooh. Really? Well, if you have irrefutable proof, I'll not have the staff behaving in such a manner here. This is your business, Doctor, not mine. Oh no, someone's cavorting. <laughs> Better put a stop to that. Thank you for your time. I'm not getting any. Nobody gets any. Given me something to go on. See you on the next round. Yeah, Escapist is now just entirely. The Yahtzee is. Yes, yeah, the telltale sign of her being the final boss is that she doesn't appear on your drinkables menu. Huh. Because that would, if you drunk her, that would fuck stuff up. The patients and staff. Cavorting in the daffodils. I, I'm not gonna investigate the fucking cavorting. Nah. I think we'll call it a stream. I don't know, man. It'd be fun to investigate cavorting. Yeah, we've been doing this for two hours. You've, you've all been very spoiled. Yeah, this is all that we only do a two-hour stream. So you bastards. Fuck you. We, let's try out was always one-hour stream, so you got you got double the amount to die. Yeah. You've been spoiled, you greedy little pig boys. Anyway, we have a lot of time to kill on Saturday because we only have to go somewhere in the evening. So we could probably do a stream then. And it doesn't have to be a game I've reviewed on the we at the weekend. I'm just wandering around doing whatever, so I'm easy. Yeah, let's just fuck about. Yep. All right, well, thanks for watching the stream. I will post this week's video in the chat again in case anyone's missed it. Do My fuck it, zero babe. punctuation review of Vampire. Do remember to check that out. And remember to follow me on Twitter at Yahtzee Crozier to know when I'm hey streaming. boys. Do you want to plug anything? No, I'm good. I mean, if you're that actually desperate to hear me, I do go do stuff. You can find that on my Twitter. All right. And, uh... What is your Twitter again? Gabriel on guard. Just Gabriel. Like, I don't hide behind a bunch of goddamn fucking, you know, I'm me, motherfucker. I'm, I'm not fucking Captain Wizard face. Just look up Gabriel Morton Twitter, you'll find me. See, he's uh, plain speaking. That's yep. why all the blue collar people vote for him. Yes, I do enjoy the blue collars. Okay, bye now. Bye. bye. Have a good one. Bye. Bye.